Are you tired of pretending to be someone you're not? Do you prefer your religion cafeteria style? Yeah. Choose only what's appealing to you and leave the rest? The Church of Chantal. You make up the rules and decide each day whether or not you'd like to follow them. Do you want a spouse, but not the headache of a real commitment? The Church of Chantal allows a sacred form of marriage that cannot be proven to anyone, nor should you have to prove anything to the haters. If anyone judges you, call them Chantal-phobic and they'll back down. You can't join the Church of Chantal, but you are always welcome to send a charitable donation. Hey, 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 nasties. How's everybody doing? <laughs> I mean, you might as well just create your own religion if you're just going to pick and choose and, you know, just make up how you think it should work, right? Just make up, just start your own religion. That's, that's, that's what I think would be best, really. Stop giving misinformation, wrong information, and just do your own thing and call it something else. Just Jamie, thank you so much for gifting five Are You Serious memberships. Thank you so much, Just Jamie. And welcome to the nest, everybody that got a membership from Just Jamie. How nice. <laughs> Just Jamie, here's my donation to the Church of Chantal. I trust AYS will get it to her. You know it. Absolutely. She's going to spend it on what she wants. I would expect uh, poutine or chicken pot pie or I don't know, anything else. Thank you. Thank you, Kavella. <laughs> Thank you, Just Jamie. Thank you. And if you are a new member, feel free to check out your welcome video. And so it's like less than a minute, but it's just something cute to welcome you. Holding on for the tab has been a nasty bestie for two months. Love you, AYS and nesties. Love you too. Yes. Oh, Lisa Mitchell lurking while working on supper. Nice. Are you going to start twerking? Make sure it's done conservatively yet quickly. If you decide to. <laughs> Why do you want to go out as soon as I start talking? Are you sitting? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? My God. So we have... New, num new members, most of numbers, members, numbers. Uh, must have been a little while ago because I cannot see who the new members are, but welcome to all of you. And One Eyed Flo also just gifted one Are You Serious membership, and uh, Jack in the Box received it. Thank you, One Eyed Flo, and welcome, Jack in the Box. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you and welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> My dog is literally staring me down. I've been home all day. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> the Bark Street Boys are very serious. Indeed, they are. Indeed. Thank you, Emmy Wimmy. Thank you. Yes. All right, so shall we just get into it? Shall we just rip off the band-aid? There was so much misinformation put out. I don't, I truly don't care what she does with her life, her religion, how she believes, what she believes. I couldn't care less. I don't care about Chantal and how she lives her life, as long as it doesn't hurt people, animals, children, you know. But what she believes, it truly doesn't matter to me. But 
If you're going to make up your own religion, just call it, I belong to the Church of Chantal. Things go the way that I want them on any given day, and I decide what goes. And if anyone wants to judge me for that, I'm just going to say they're Chantal-phobic. Please just do that. Stop twisting my religion into something that you want it to be when it's just not. Really. Really. How rude. How rude. 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 And you might even say a little bit hypocrisy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How hypocrisy. Yeah. Like how hypocrisy you are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, let's see. Let me pull up what we have. I did record it live with the chat. Did I? Yeah, did I? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's been kind of a whirlwind the past few days, you know. Let's see. Let's see. You really have to go out? It's cold out. Are you sure? Are you sure? It's very cold. He's like, yes, I'm sure. Stop babying me. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what to think anymore. She's back in Canada. Yippee yay yay. I mean, truly. Does anyone I I think some people do care. I I just I don't know. I don't know. It's just not that interesting to me, I guess. Okay. Okay, sir. All right. All right then. All right. Let me uh sort by date. I have so many here. And this is April, so it's probably like April 2nd-ish. <laughs> Ish. Yeah, she said she got home on the 1st. Here we are. Okay, I have it here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We got it. We're in business. Oh, now he's just laying down like he didn't have to go out. Sir, really? Oh, Marwa. Chantal got home. Chantal is back in Canada. She is. She's back on the scene. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Back on the scene, making up her own rules to have a religion. You know, that doesn't really apply to her, but, you know, lots of misinformation. What else is new? It's the same old, same old, really, you know. Now, all of a sudden, hijab is not required. You know, it's just whatever she feels for the moment, I guess. So, you know, same old, same old. Mm -hmm. So we are going to have to debunk some of this. And as I said, I truly don't care what she does with her life, her beliefs, truly. Just stop talking smack about Islam. You clearly know nothing about it. And I really wish you would just stop. Stop. Okay. Let's do it. Mimi, Shelly, Madonna, Miriam, yeah. SUP, Laura, Blumpy. Hello, where is everyone? I guess people forgot about me. <laughs> uh oh, I might have to move. I don't know if this is private property or not. I'm kind of confused. Like, um, Okay, so I'm in this little driveway, and then there's a fence that says no trespassing. So does that mean no trespassing before the fence or after? Hi! Oh my gosh, it's too fast. Hi, everyone. I'm kind of nervous and overwhelmed, so... And I have to let a little chin free. I can't... I feel claustrophobic. <sighs> Hi! I don't even know where to start. Like, I'm gone seven days, and my, or eight days, or however many days. And my life has, like, changed so much that I don't even know where to start. I have so many stories I wanted to tell you guys. I'm like, when something happens in my life, I'm like, I have to tell them this. Like, being away made me realize, like, you guys are my support system. Hi, everybody! <laughs> she should recognize that. It has red flags in her life in general that a bunch of strangers that she's never met and most likely will never meet are her support system. That's sad. That's very sad. <laughs> Welcome, Salam. Hello, everybody. I need to let a little bit of my gin out. Well, yeah, I'm in the Kia! No, Salah, let me take the... It doesn't... Does the Kia look like... No, it's not white. 
Hi. Hi, everybody. I missed so many people to say hi, so I'm just going to say a collective hi. I am literally jet lagged. I know people laugh and use that as like a euphemism for being high. No. Holy crap, that's creepy. I'm just like literally so tired and my body is so battered from this trip. I am going nuts. <sighs> yeah, I have new glasses. So, you know, I did the prescription, right? Like I went to the eye doctor last time I was in Canada, but then I left without getting glasses. They're super expensive here. So before I left, so I was like, give me your prescription for your glasses. I'm going to go and get you glasses. And I was like, no, we don't need, thanks everybody <laughs> for the birthday wishes and everything. Welcome. I'm like, we, you know, we don't, that's not a priority. <laughs> and even though I'm driving, yeah, I've got, it's much better. I, I'm like, why haven't I gotten these sooner? So he went and got glasses for me before I headed out and I'm glad he did. They're still pricey over there though. Hi guys. Can you imagine with the shape of that head and you just kind of like wing it and go, yeah, go pick me up some frames and put a prescription in there. Oh my God. Like there are very specific measurements you have to take because I ordered my frames online and they tell you how to measure them. And I mean, everything has a measurement, even the thing in the middle, like that has a certain width. It's all in millimeters from the corner of the eyeglasses, like the arm that goes all the way back, that has an independent measurement. I mean, and the width of each lens has a measurement. So you can't just wing it. Glasses are not just glasses. <laughs> but I guess he went out and got her some. Okay. I just, uh, this, the key is all set. It got, has new brakes, has like $2,000 worth of work on this baby. I feel like I'm in a new car. I love this Kia. Let's never fight. Anyways. All right, so, hi, I missed all you guys. Sorry, I missed like all, everybody. Hey, Mary and Ma Hexie, hey, how you doing? Brittany, everyone, I missed all the Beezers. Did I miss everyone who's in? Sorry, hello, I missed you guys. Yeah, like where are those sitting? Are those like way above her ears? Like where, where, where are those arms even sitting? Or is it just the hijab that's holding it on? You know, like what? Not good, not good. So the middle part is just like smashed in between her eyes. It's not like resting on her nose. And the bottom part really shouldn't be touching your cheeks like that either. I mean, these are just all off, all off. So I don't know. She should get fitted for eyeglasses. It's not difficult. You just got to know, you know, you know, you just got to know what you need. That's all. It covers her eyebrows. Yeah, it's not supposed to do that. Mm-mm-mm. She wears her sunglasses like this, too. Well, she's got some pretty odd sunglasses, you know? Um, thank you. Happy belated. Um, no name! Happy belated. <laughs> thank you, no name! <laughs> thank you! Jumping right in there. Thanks. I look cute. No, I don't feel it. Hi. Okay, um, I have so much to talk about. House bees! Hexy, I know! Okay, so, am I in a private spot? All right, you were so worried. Well, let me tell you what happened. So, thank you guys. Everybody, who did I miss? I missed a lot of, I think I missed some beezers here. My nose is dry. Hi. Thanks guys for, uh, it's going so fast. Joey, um, ghost face. Uh, I get nervous. Like, is this your property? People driving by? Anyway, they come and say, you know yeah this is a new dress like the minute i decided to come back to canada i was like i'm going on penningtons.com all right let's get some clothes because like i need canada clothes you know so this is like a dress but it's so cool it's gonna be nice and cool cassidy happy belated birthday missed your lives thank you so much cassidy that's so sweet of you heather golden girl hi oh, thank you comic brook flowers bonnie hi comic brook boo boo yeah i'm gonna show you guys all the new clothes you know it. i'm gonna wear them obsessively for anyways okay so I got a strike on my channel and, uh, so she did get a strike. She did get a strike. That's why she was gone for seven days. I, I and she does say that it's for the community um, post that she made. I don't think that the information we saw supports that, but she's admitting herself that she got a strike for that. At first I was like, what the F, you know, I was like pissed off. I was like, I have a strike on my Rosemary. Hi, Marbles. Kayla. Trixie, loyalty beezer, thank you. Ready, start, rebees. <laughs> okay, sorry, I have to concentrate. Sorry. Hi, Carolina. Never have I ever. Paul Freed, everybody, normally Mimi, Shelly, I know. Okay, listen. So basically, um, and I was like, what? what? You know, 
But then like I saw like the post that I made, like I deleted it, but it's about the, it was for the post that, thanks mistress, Georgia girl, that I made about that Kalani lady. So at first I was mad and I'm like, I'm like, you know what? Did she say Kalani lady? That Kal <laughs> She's so shady. Such, such shade. I mean... When last time I looked at Kalari's channel before she got the shout out from Chantal, she was like 685. And I think she's, I mean, I even checked recently. Last time I looked, it was like almost 4,000. And it was like in a couple of days. So good. I mean, you know, Chantal, the promo, good promo. It doesn't matter. Like, because I was responding to, I was triggered as usual, but that's my problem to be triggered. But anyway, I was triggered because. I saw parts of a video on your mama's live stream about her and she was like, you know, calling me a heifer and that my husband wouldn't touch me. So I, you know, said some nasty things back. So, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I got caught for it. I think it's weird that, you know, that YouTube doesn't, you know, keep the same energy for some other channels that swear and all that. But what I said was really nasty. So, you know what? I'm like, fine. I, what I did was wrong. I'll take the hit. I'll take the L. And you know what? I think it's a sign from God or from whatever the universe, whatever you want to believe. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. This, you think, right? You think it's a sign from God. That's your opinion, what you think, right? We're not talking about the general public, your viewers. We're talking about you. You think it's a sign. Why would you add in the universe? Chantal. When I, I, the first time I heard this, my head swiveled so fast. I was like, what? The universe? Now, hey, if you believe the higher power is part of the universe or is the universe or, you know, like energy, a t a more power to you. I truly, it does not matter to me at all. But as Muslims, we believe in one God and the one God and that is it. That's it. We don't talk about universal energy we don't talk you know we we don't speak in these terms so for her to say her opinion i think it was a sign from god or the universe or whatever is very concerning very concerning chantal that i needed that break like this break has been amazing for me and i know that's going to annoy you and it's going to make people mad but it was so amazing but yeah, i just want to sit and chat here for a while you thought I fell into the drain. So anyways, basically the, the, the break was awesome, you know? So yeah, I was like, yeah, you know what? I was nasty. Like, doesn't matter if I'm being nasty back, whatever. Like I'm the, my point is like, I need to just ignore these people and really just bees focus on beesing, focus on, and I missed you guys so much. Like you guys are my support system. I realized that in a lot of ways, like I have to just try to make it in a healthy, in a healthy way. Like, um, so yeah, I have to be positive because you know what? YouTube is a popularity contest. A lot of people don't like me. So any little way they can, obviously they're going to report me, right? Especially if I do something that um, goes against terms of service. And if I get caught, that's like, is it worth risking my entire channel for going after every little, like people who are saying like that I'm a pig, you know, like, no, I needed to check my behavior. It's like ruining my mental health, everything. So basically this, this break was amazing. And I made a very big decision to um, move back to, to Canada and Honestly, if I had my way and I was rich, I would probably bounce back and forth all the time. No, you're not. You know what? I wouldn't. This journey, <laughs> let me tell you this. One of the stories, okay? I want to tell you one of the stories of the horrors of being on the plane this time. All right. So normally, sorry, I'm just getting this out and I'll talk to you guys and save your questions if you want to. But I normally fly with Qatar Airways or Emirates. I, I know I'm like, I only fly with Qatar. No, but there's a reason. All right. This time I decided. I'm sorry, guys. I had to rewind a little bit. I had a barking situation, literally hasn't said a word the entire day. My goodness. So I had to get up and close the door. All right. I just got to, in case I missed something, I doubt I did, but just in case. Contest. A lot of people don't like me. So any little way they can, obviously, Popularity they're going to right? Especially if I do something hmm. that um, goes against terms of service. And if I get caught, that's like, is it worth risking my entire channel for going after every little, like people who are saying like that I'm a pig, you know, like, no, I needed to check my behavior. It's like ruining my mental health, everything. So basically this, this break was amazing. And I made a very big decision to, um, move back to, to Canada. And honestly, if I had my way and I was rich, I would probably bounce back and forth all the time. No, you're not, you know what? I wouldn't this journey. <laughs> let me tell you this one of the stories. Okay. I want to tell you one of the stories 
of the horrors of being on the plane this time. No, I can't. Right, so normally, I sorry, can't. I'm just, gonna... just so you know, I down I I downloaded this. I started editing it because I don't want to even discuss her silly airplane foibles and problems. It's disgusting if you've heard it yet. It's all about having gas and passing gas and just being gross being gross and i don't need to hear it i just don't it's disgusting and like why she feels the need she's been gone for seven days she feels the need to come back and start talking about farting on a plane is just beyond me this is why like i don't watch her on a real level most well there's many reasons but that's one of them and then talked a vegetarian sandwich so i took it and um Captain was like, okay, we have 20 minutes. It takes forever to deplane. The miraculously I did, they would check her passport. Status would be there. You know, I'll be I'm like, <laughs> honestly, when you, I don't know. I just, I have to worry about myself. Mm. Keep running. Are you going to move up mm -hmm. to control in my life and not worry so much? So like, because mm -hmm. like, honestly, when I'm dead, the anxiety, what I'm worried about won't matter. You know, I'll be I'm like. <laughs> when she's dead? Okay. Honestly, when you, I don't know. I just, I have to worry about myself. Yeah. Keep you running. Are you gonna yeah. Selfish Chantal, you know, she has to worry about herself now. Yeah. Yeah. Always so giving to other people. Now it's time to worry about herself. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Peace. I hope you have help. Thank you. I'm not sure what I'm doing at all. Like, I am definitely getting an apartment. Like, I, I need to get my own setup here. So I need to set up everything, which means I have to, like, get everything from scratch. Like, I'm not rich. Like, I, we are okay. Like, we do fine. Like, we were able to like you know everything fix the car um get me here which was like crazy um it was a cheaper though on those two flights but I i'm never gonna compromise this <laughs> i can't it's too air canada is really good though air canada the only thing is they don't have personalized vents i was almost dying um i'm also getting sam back <laughs> like I'm boo, sam back. boo 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 I'll believe it when I see it. When I get my place. The foster lady. Um, she's like, after all, she had a cat before Sam, an older cat. And he doesn't really like Sam. I thought they were getting along, but no. Are you worried about celebrities? Thank you, Jessica. You know what? No, I'm not worried about, I'm not going to worry about that. Like, I have my trust in him, renewed trust. I said I would do it, like trust. Like, and, you know, like, I'm just going to live life. Like, whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm not going to stress <laughs> about that. I'm not going <laughs> to... There's nothing I can do. I don't have a, I'm not a fly on the wall over there. I can't live my life distrusting somebody, you know? Mm. Like, I Yeah, I mean, I mean, who knows what he could be up to already. <laughs> Thank you, Kaibella. I mean, it could really be going down now. Home Alone legend? Oh, oh, oh. yeah, it could be going down. It could, it could. And, you know, I, I I would be lying if I didn't say that I'm curious if a Kybella version 2 will emerge and uh, <laughs> keep him company, you know? I'm curious. It would be interesting. I can't waste that energy. Hmm. Um, if I ever learn of something that's different, I'll deal with it. But I'm not going to... No, I'm going to focus on myself. Um, yeah, I just... There's a lot of things I, I miss, like, that I didn't think I would ever miss when I first moved to Kuwait. And when I got here, I was, like, very patriotic. I was like, Canada! But a lot of people on the plane were looking out, and they were like, you could tell they missed Canada. Like, you get homesick, but I also, now I miss Kuwait a lot, too. Because when you're, you ingrain yourself in a culture for <sighs> a year and a half or however long I would... You ingrained yourself on a sofa, Chantal. Let's be real. Come on. Hey, sniper love. Guess what happened to me? My sciatic nerve acted up. No! Been in hella pain for the last four days, and no, I can't sit and eat hubcaps of rice right now. Oh, sniper love, I'm so sorry. But now, have you ever had sciatica before? Now you know, right? You can't just sit like as much as she sits and how she sits, like there's no way. No, there's no way to, period. Dax, I hope she left him fun money to play with if she's gone only on vacation, like pizza money when parents go on dates. I have a theory that I haven't heard yet, guys. I think he paid her to leave. I do. I think, I mean, she will not end a relationship on her own. She basically has to be shamed, embarrassed, and pushed out. And I think, you know, he cheated. I mean, call it what you want. To me, it's cheating, right? 
I mean, you know, I worship your ass more than my family. Yeah, that's that's not okay. I wouldn't just, you know, pretend that never happened. No, no. And um, I think he's probably done other things that have really, like, no other woman would tolerate. And maybe there is a second wife. Okay. And his family is just like, listen, can you go? Can you just go back to Canada? Like, he's not even living here. He doesn't even want to be with you. Your contract ended. Can you just go? Can you just leave? Leave us alone. And she was like, well, I don't have any money. And I don't know what I'm going to do in my YouTube channel. And they were like, look, we'll give you 10K. Get out of here. She comes back. She has her car fixed, $2,000, she said, to have her Kia fixed. She went out and got a whole new wardrobe, she said. And now she's looking for an apartment and thinking about how to furnish it. Mm. That's what I think. I think they paid her to leave. Get out of here. Is there, it's like, you know, and my, I miss Julia and Harry so bad. Like, that's like, no matter which country I'm in, I have heartbreak because I miss my cats here. And then I miss Julia, like her little face and her fishy breath. Ooh. But Salah is a good cat dad. I don't want to leave him. Like he genuinely, genuinely looks sad at the thought of leaving Julia. Hi, Squeaky. Yeah, Sergi. Hi, Brittany. Ghostface. Inshallah, he can come here. Yeah. No, I'm not here to renew my visa. He hated animals that move. He used to, Half Light. He used to. He was not an animal person. He was not raised with pets. He could care less about them before. He didn't hate them. Like, you know, he wouldn't hurt anything, but he fell in love with Julia. In love. Like, there's not he about about 15 times a day. I oh I can like, are you harassing the cat again? Because he grabs her and holds her and just kisses her for like five minutes straight. And she doesn't persist, but she you know how cats look whenever you hold them? They're like, Do you hear the geese? <laughs> Anyways. <sighs> dispensary time for wheelchair bees i can't blink it um yes of course i miss him <laughs> all the time hmm, mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. no ramadan's not over i didn't have to fast while i was traveling um so I know I haven't really been watching any reaction channels. I caught a little bit of um, Sin and Sass today, I think it was. The days run together sometimes. Um, but I caught the tail end of it. So I don't know if anyone has really gone in on this yet. She does have a medical exemption for fasting during Ramadan. She doesn't have to for with her diabetes. I thought it was kind of dumb of her to try to when she was in Kuwait. So if anyone is calling her out for not fasting now all of a sudden, like, okay, now you're, you know... As far as religion goes, she does have an exemption. Now, is she being fake either way about, like, now I'm fasting, now I'm not, and... Uh, I mean, yeah, that's an attention thing. It truly is. But it, religiously, for, for regular Muslims out here, okay, if you have diabetes, you do have an exemption. But we do other things to make up for it. If you can't fast, you do other things. You don't just get Ramadan off. And, yeah, I don't know. I haven't really been doing that right now. Um, but, yeah, what do you have questions about? Cre creepy comfort and crime! Thank you. Oh yeah, I can like the comments. Welcome back. You've been missed. Oh thanks. I'm glad you guys missed me. Nicolina, I did. F I let it go on the plane so bad I couldn't hold it. It was like the, like a machine gun with mixed with a tuba. <laughs> that's true. That's true. We're sniffer in the in the church of Chantal. That's true. You can basically you can do what you want. You can do a water fast for 40 days if you're trying to lose weight and get healthy. And if you only last 12 hours, it's totally fine. Like, don't judge her. Don't judge. I'm religious. <laughs> I don't care. Here's the thing. There's religion and there's culture. Okay. I'm Canadian, like blood wise, and we believe in the medicinal power of marijuana. So that's something I'm going to consider because, um, you know, I know it would be frowned upon by most muslim people but oh, God. for me it's like i don't know it's mm -hmm. like medicine for me mm -hmm. medicine i feel like having like a night when i get home like whenever mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you, you do your whole day be productive and uh -huh. then later at night for a treat like to relax a medicine and a treat are two different things but in your addicted mind you probably see them as the same thing <laughs> so exactly journal number six culture overrides religion 
I made a little picture on, put it on Twitter and said, Islam is not a cultural religion. It's not about which country you're in at the time or which country you're from or how you're used to doing things. It's just not like that. You practice it wherever you are the same way, the same way. So now she's giving an exemption to herself in the Church of Chantal that, you know, in Islam, we, we cannot consume anything that will intoxicate us. So no alcohol. No, you know, if you're taking if you're taking anything to get out of your mind for a little bit, that's not allowed. It's not allowed. So if you're taking a pain pill because you have a sore back, you know, yes. God does not want you to suffer with pain. If you're popping pills because you want to escape for a little while from your problems, that's not okay. So it is all about your intention also. But where she's saying that marijuana is her medicine, well, you went without your medicine for over a year. And anyone who goes without medicine that they need for over a year would have some serious problems. You don't have serious problems from your lack of marijuana, Chantal. And Really, I'm not telling her specifically because she truly doesn't care. She truly, she, Church of Chantal, Church of Chantal, that's what's going on here. That's all that's going on here. First, it's medicine. And now it's when I go home and I want a little treat, when I want a treat to relax. That's not the same as medication. You could substitute that for wine. You know, wine is like my medicine. When I go home after a long day, I like to treat myself and have a glass of wine. Not medicine. You don't treat yourself with medicine. Chantal. I don't know if anyone bought this, but <sighs> medication when I'm bored. Yep. When I'm stressed. Okay. It's like medicine. Look, it helps with like, you know. The CBD and that can help with pain. I can't take too many more NSAIDs. Like my stomach is gonna have a hole like this big inside it. Well, oh my god, I gotta stop. I gotta start. This is I didn't go live last night because I was too emotional over this because it was making me so angry to hear her just like make up stuff about the religion. And again, I'm just gonna keep repeating it. I don't care what she does. I don't. Go be yourself, be authentic, whatever that means to you. I don't care what you do, truly. But don't put out stuff that's not true. Just don't, it's just so damaging. She has no idea. She will have to answer for this. She will. That's what we believe. In our afterlife, she will be answering for this. How many thousands of people she misled with her misinformation. She will answer for this. May God have mercy on her soul. And you might be like, what? Really? Yeah, it's going to be bad. She actually needs mercy for the amount of fitna she has put out. It's true fitna. It makes some... Um, Fitna is like something, it can be used in different ways, the word, but fitna, it's an Arabic word, and it's creating strife and chaos between people. It can be a temptation also, but this is fitna. This is just lying, whether she's doing it intentionally or not, or just spouting off and truly doesn't care enough about my religion to get it right, and maybe just stop talking if you're not sure instead of going on and on justifying why you're going to go get high tonight, you don't have to explain yourself to anybody. You certainly don't have to explain yourself to a bunch of internet strangers who you're now calling your support system. You can even wear a head covering. I don't care. Stop talking about my religion. Just stop. You want to fully cover yourself and look Muslim? That's up to you. That's up to you. Why don't you start acting like one? You know, so. But I'm still Muslim. I still believe in, in God. And like, how can I, you know, how can I just automatically. Uh, you know what? You can stop believing. People switch all the time. People go through. Oh, people stop believing all the time. They stop believing all the time. Why would you even say that, Chantal? Why would you even say that? This is just prepping her audience for taking off the hijab and smoking weed or doing her gummies, whatever she does, and, and everything else. 
and eating pork ribs. That's what, I mean, really, really. She's just prepping her audience for this. Why would she even say, stop believing? God is, for me, as, as what I consider myself a believer in God, okay? God is with me no matter where I am on the face of this earth. He's in me. I don't show up to another country and say, oh, well, over here, you know, do as the Romans do. I'm just going to participate in all kinds, you know, whatever, things that aren't allowed for me. No, because it's, it's who I am. It's part of who I am. If we're just here for the head covering and a floor length dress and you have an excuse to say this is why I dress like this, that's, hey, that's your thing. Just stop talking about my religion. You know, I think religion is something very personal, you know, then stop talking about it if it's so personal to you. I we talked the other night. OK, on my channel, I did have to edit out like hours of it because we really talked in depth about some things that not everyone needs to hear. OK, please don't be offended if you didn't hear it. It's nothing personal. OK, just not everyone needed to hear it. Nobody on my previous channels ever knew that I am Muslim. Never. I never gave them an inkling. I never talked about Ramadan. I never talked about anything related to Islam. Period. Because you know why? Because it's personal. It's my business. I don't need to, I don't need to, I don't need, it's, it's mine. Chantal, if it's personal, keep it to yourself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sabriana! Glad you were okay. Was worried your mouth got you in trouble. Be safe and not talk personal business online or speak ill of others. You're right. Thank you. Thanks for the super chat. Nikki B. Knowing. We like honesty. Less hate when you're being real. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, I know you guys are all happy because like this is the land of the bees. For the land of the bees. Oh no, that's the American. The geese is getting on my nerves. Anyways, I was thinking as a... Stop appropriating my nationality while we're at it. While we're at it, stop stop appropriating my nationality. You're not American. You never will be American. Stop quoting the U.S. Constitution. <laughs> Imagine if I went live last night. It would have been 10 times worse. Thank you, little seven. You agree 100%. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Kabela. Thank you, little seven. Thank you. She's very annoying. Very, very annoying. Yeah. Rosie read, she said she ate non-halal meat because she was starving. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yet she claims to support the Palestinians who are literally starving. I mean, you know, maybe she is donating to causes. We don't know. But, you know, throw a little money over there. You know, really. Stop thinking about your own appetite for once. Oh, stranded in Utah. I hope you're not really stranded in Utah. I've been I've been absorbed in the Mormon religion for like the past couple of months. So I hope you're not stranded there. I'm so sorry her words are hurting you. She's a liar and only cares about her satisfaction. She doesn't care about other Muslims. I mean, I don't think it's hurt. I'm just like, I'm so, I just want her to stop talking. She won't, though. I know she won't. I know it's like it's not even an ask. It won't happen. This is her thing for right now. This is her shtick, and she's going to play it out until she's on to something else. Justice for Americans, Marwa. Thank you. Hashtag justice for Americans. Stop quoting our Constitution. You're not American. Stop singing American songs. <laughs> You're not American, okay? Okay, or, or meet up with Cobra King and go be his roommate because he has to get a new apartment and you need an apartment and that would be the perfect collaboration for YouTube. Then you can be in America and pretend to be American. Otherwise, I don't want to hear anything more about the States and you acting like you're American. Please. 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 Celebration. Let's go eat somewhere. But I'm going to come back live when I get there because <laughs> you know the rules. Rosemary. I look happier, but what you said was true. What did I say? Hi, Rebe. Hi, everybody. Who did I miss? Rebe, because of chronic pain. Yeah, that's up to me. It's like medicine, you know? Sushi. Jessica, your, your, your channel's been blowing up, huh? 
Yeah, thanks, Golden Girl. Lolo, everybody, crab legs. Child, Carol Charms. Our home and bees in land. What did you say? Oh, Canada, our home and bees in land. True home of the bees. Imagine I'm getting King Beezer back and I'll never leave him again. So I'm assuming she's talking about Sam, the cat, but King Beezer was Salah. So who's King Beezer? Everything changes, even nicknames for people. Now you're talking about your husband. Now you're talking about your cat. Okay. I'm sorry I'm not paying much attention to the chat. I would love, you guys always have good stuff to say. So let me get over here and take a quick look before we continue on. She also claimed it's too hard to eat halal in Canada. It might be. It's possible. You do have to work around certain things. You do your absolute best. You know, like uh, to find halal food for me is about like, it's like 30 minutes away. That's not that bad. It's not. But as Muslims, and this, I remember when my ex came to visit me in the States, and this was like way before we reverted. I was like, I don't even know any halal restaurants in this area. There was one and they had fried chicken. That was it. And he was like, it's okay as long as I say bismillah before we eat or we can eat vegetarian or fish, then it should be fine. So, you know, but if you have halal food available to you and you refuse it and opt for something not, then it, again, it's about your intention, you know? Yeah. Oh, she's wasting away to nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Lisa Mitchell, well, this is the same person that cussed us for filth while mocking the tragic Columbine massacre. Uh, yeah. And um, Uvalde, Texas. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Real funny. Funny jokes, Chantal. She's not fasting anymore, unhinged lady. She's giving herself so many outs already. She won't be able to stick to anything away from Kuwait, in my opinion. You know, everything is easier when you're Muslim in an Islamic country. Everything is easier. Everyone's doing the same thing as you. People are, people understand, you know, you don't have to like pretend that you're not fasting. Everyone knows that you're fasting. Everything's easier. She doesn't have access to marijuana, alcohol, nothing. All of her, you know, things that she would normally be doing. So it's, yeah, it's easier if you just can't get it. But now she's back in Canada where she can get anything she wants. Anything. If we keep coming back to the nest, all is good. Yes, Dax. Thank you. Yeah, clearly we all over for her soon. And this, she already started dropping the breadcrumbs, Ada. I think so, too. She's definitely giving us some foreshadowing. Like, oh, people, like, stop believing all the time. Like, what? Okay, I guess. Okay. We can send Mormon missionaries to our apartment every month after she settles. I don't know if we want to do that to the missionaries, though, you know? I don't know. Cobes needs a nice person to help him. Chantal's perfect for that. You know, he likes to dine out <laughs> and for his food hacks and stuff. Yeah. You don't think even Cobra could stand her? Yeah, probably not. Mm-hmm. Oh, Katsy, I expect everyone to talk bad about us, but Chantal is where I draw the line. She has no self-control or self-discipline. True. Stranded in Utah. Some of you, are some of you Mormons in the chat? Oh, how interesting. Oh my gosh, the conversations we could have. Really. It's very interesting. We talked a little bit about it yesterday or the day before, whenever I was here. She never had to leave the apartment, right, Ems, at the same time. Um, from one, from hour one, she loved the things she wanted, but immediately regretted what she couldn't have. She's beyond immature and will never reconcile. Yeah. Yeah. Malarkey meter. Hey, malarkey meter. How is it going? Guys, go check out malarkey meter. Let me make sure we still got a, a night bot. I believe it's under malarkey. How's it going? Nice to see you. Yes, there's a link for Malarkey Meter. She archives all of the Gore World antics and she's fantastic 
And when we were looking at Cuba Rage that time, she allowed us to use her video and she had like the whole thing. Uh, hey, AYS, just here to send some positivity your way. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I'm from her area and it's halal is very accessible in our area. She just doesn't care. Okay, <laughs> be good yourself all. Thank you. Thank you, Malarkey. That's awesome. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Kaivella. Thank you, Malarkey Meter. Yeah, if you ever need archive stuff that doesn't have like crazy watermarks and stuff, Malarkey Meter is your girl. There's a link in the chat right there. Unhinged Lady has been a nesty bestie for three months using my three month perk. I'm sorry that she's back in Canada to trigger all of us Muslims during the last 10 days of Ramadan. Yes. And the last 10 days of Ramadan for us are the most special because there is something called the night of power that could happen at any, any one of these nights. And if we're up praying in the middle of the night, we get so many more blessings. And here she is, the fitna on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true. It's true. Waldo's World was gifted a membership to someone else and almost forgot about this live and didn't get a notification. Oh, well, I'm glad you're here. You're an ex-Mormon, Tara Mama? Oh, interesting. Wow, interesting. I love how many religions we have in this nest. I love it. We have witches, like Wicca, you know, Wiccan. I'm not sure which term you um, prefer. Just let me know. Wiccan or witches. We have Mormons. We have ex-Mormons. We have Jehovah's Witnesses. We have um, Christians. We have Jewish people. We have Muslims. We have atheists. I'm assuming we have some agnostics. They probably just uh, can't decide whether or not they want to tell, tell us. <laughs> I couldn't even get it out. It was so corny. <laughs> oh, God. I love it. We have so many. You're a witch, Wicked Weird Wednesday. Okay. All right. Good. You're converting to Judaism or human jerky? That's awesome. Awesome. The church of flow, one-eyed flow. Hey, you know, apparently it's a thing. Just start your own church and just just do what you want. Don't challenge your, yourself in any way. Don't challenge your beliefs, your thoughts, your behaviors. Just do what you want to do and call it the church of your name and you should be fine. And anyone that calls you out for it, just tell them that they're whoever phobic, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're a new convert to the Church of Chantal Irving Transplant. She does not accept new members, even if you donate. So, any Chantalists here? <laughs> yeah, Ems. I love how all are welcome in the nest. Yeah, there's so many. And I love how people feel free to... to talk about it, you know, to say, hey, I'm this, I'm that. That's fantastic. Humanist. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, no members needed. She's her own church. That's right. You can start your own though. AYS, I had to leave in the middle of the night with my seven children to escape a very abusive situation. The church backed the abuser. Tara Mama, I have been learning about so many stories very similar to yours. It's just heartbreaking. It truly is. And it's like, yeah, I'm sorry you went through that. Me too, Katsy. I've been watching the, um, the ex-Mormon reaction channels like um, Mormon Stories podcast. Excellent. They were live today. Yeah. No worries, Malarkey. Everyone uses like talk to text here and I'm just like, uh, hmm, hmm. But eventually I figure it out. No worries at all. Hearing Scientology is a good gig if you like institutions. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, I would love to interview somebody. Yeah. There are good LDS people out there. I just never had dealing with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wesley Snipes tried to declare himself as a church. That's how they got him on tax dodging, which I support. Awesome. Ex-Mormon agnostic atheist here, and I love learning about all religions, chicken and duck. Wow. It was Mormons fighting with ex-Mormons from your comment, Francis. Oh, this is far more interesting than Chantal, by the way. Okay, Fran, enjoy your dinner. Yeah, I'm sure she fancies herself a cult leader. 
Someone on another video asked if Chantal would be turning Rastafarian next. However, she only seems to adhere to one tenant. Oh, can we send C to Scientology? Send Chantal to Scientology? Why not? Why not? She could be audited. She can hold the cans and get audited. Yeah, I would love to hear like an auditing session of Chantal. I'm sure it has, Tara, because they, they talk about so many different things and really in depth. And I like how they do like the interviews, like they just let them talk. They guide it a little bit, but like they just let them go. And I love it. Next time they call me for an IQ test, I'll give them your channel. Yeah, please do. Scientologists went hard after me in the 90s. Oh, my God. Yeah. I was in a college class called the Sociology of Cults and Religious Sex. We did field trips. Wow, that sounds fascinating. Woo. Remember the Jamaican Patty arc? Oh, she had one today. Or six. One or six. You're a pagan Wiccan witch. Isabella, nice. Fantastic. I love it. You lived in Vegas when Warren Jeffs was arrested there? Oh, wow, Lisa. Chantal on Dianetics would be wild. <laughs> Ray's day-to-day -day vlogs. I'm pagan. My husband is atheist. My sister wife is Catholic. And my son can choose what he wants to believe when he's old enough. That's wonderful. Wonderful. All right. Back to Church of Chantal. Pretty soon he'll be strumming on a new counter. I can go back to Kuwait, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, no name. Sham. Kuwait, look, I love Kuwait. And I do miss Salah, like, a lot. It's so hard being in a long-distance marriage and for who, who knows how long. But this is, like, a sacrifice I have to make. And it will be a true test of our relationship, too, because, you know, like, that long of distance, no. We'll see, you know, and I... Oh, it'll be a test, all right. You have no intention of ever going back to Kuwait. Yeah, I think it's over. I really do think they paid her to leave. Like, enough is enough. Get out of here. <laughs> she, like, it'll be a test of our relationship. If you're going back to your home country permanently and your husband has no hope of getting into your country, hey, you know, unless you're going to fly back and forth and she's already told us she's not going to be doing that because her body hurts too much to do it. So, I mean, I think I think maybe Kuwait might actually be done. Hopefully. Hopefully. We shall see. Tony D, how's it going? Deconstructing your Catholicism. Interesting. I did that. I did that. I started like in confirmation classes. I started asking questions and I was shut down. Yeah. Then I was like, you know what? If I'm curious about something, I should be able to ask, you know, ask questions, get an answer. Give me at least a direction to go to go into with my question. But, you know, I didn't care for that very much. So you went to the Aryan Nations Church, Katsy, the Church Universal and Triumphant, the Love Family Compound, and many more. Wow. Interesting. She left her abayas there. Yes, that's weird. The AI owl, the looks. Yeah. I mean, the owl looks so innocent sitting there, make, you know, just kind of blinking and stuff. But like, if you really look, sometimes the owl's throwing shade. Yeah. Yeah. The camels of Kuwait will be disappointed. I'm sure they will. Juror number six. <laughs> I, I'm here to like, also, I have to work on myself, but I need a plan. Uh, yeah. So on the 18th, I have like a um, therapy session. But I'm, like, starting immediately because I have help from my family to, like, you know, help me get in places and stuff. Um, my makeup, I don't have a lot on. Can we go in the handbag? I missed <laughs> down under. Um, yeah, soon. Sometime soon, yeah. I guess, of course, I miss him. And I don't want to shit talk him. Like, that's the only thing I ask. Let's just not talk about him. You can have your opinions, but just keep them to yourself. Like, you know, just. You can have your own opinion. Just keep it to yourself. <laughs> Chantal, do you even listen to yourself sometimes? You can have an opinion, just don't express it. Okay, well, you're telling people not to have an opinion in that case. Oh my God, just keep it to yourself. He is my husband and 
you know, it's important for me, like a little bit of respect for that. Mm. Lolo, mm-hmm. 34. <laughs> well, maybe if he showed a little respect to his quote unquote wife the last time you were in Canada, we could have a little more respect for him. But, you know, the reason that you still respect him, Chantal, is beyond me, truly. Once. Girl, I knew it. Felt you were back. I'm glad you were taking care of you. Thank you. Ready to reviews. But we're just going to be, thank you so much, Lolo. We're going to be, um, yeah, someday he can visit, but like for now, I'm just, fo- I have to focus on me and, you know, beezing. <laughs> He's going to take care of the pets. Don't worry about them. He's taking really good care of them. And I like talk to him every day, you know, on video to see, okay, this is the pet situation, you know. Hi, Tracy. Yeah. Because uh, what do I miss about him? Everything. Like just having that person there with you. Like I feel lonely. I feel lonely and blue. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I was kind of thinking that that was intentional, like for maybe like one of the feeders, because how it like slowly, like pan, like it, like it panned, well, not panned, but like it went down her body very slowly. I'm like, did she, is that for one of the feeders? Like, you know? Okay, this is the pet situation, you know? Hi, Tracy! Yeah. Because uh, what do I miss about him? Everything, like just having that person there with you. Like, I feel lonely. I feel lonely. You know, it's like slowly tilting down. Tilting, that's the word. It's like slowly tilting down. I'm like, I wonder if she's doing that on purpose. (laughs) The phone couldn't take the Delulu. Hold on. I feel lonely and blue. Oh, God, stop. Without you, baby, without you. Mm. You know what I was listening to when I was putting my makeup on? I feel like I'm living out my car. Maybe I am. Ah! Oh. You know that song? I want my hand She's very to happy. Me. Oh, no, no, we don't need that. No. That's the way you do it. Back it up. Play the guitar on the MTV. I'm hyper as hell. <sighs> mm-hmm. Yeah, addressing my health. I can't stand the summer there. <laughs> um. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I would just be in all the time, you know, in the summer, it's worse. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be in. I cannot go outside. I will die there in the summer. So glad you're not one with the sea. I mean, there's got to be something going on here chemically. There's got to be. There's got to be. Like, she's never. Oh, look at the owl. <laughs> all right, pause. It's like slit eyes. The owl's high right now. Look at him. <sighs> Why does she sing? Good question. Yeah, she never went outside in the first place. I mean, did she even really live in Kuwait? We saw an apartment. That's it. We saw a blue couch and then it went to tan. That was it. But she'll be exercising outside in Canada for sure. Oh, yeah. The owl is beezing. The owl is jet lagged. Long flight, man. It's either mania or the Coca-Cola. At least I was wondering about the mania, you know? Like, what if that's the issue? If you've seen like people, like people who are have bipolar disorder, when you see the manic part of it, it it's very it, it's similar to this. It is. I've seen it a few times. Howell is really over it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nikki P, thanks, Nikki P. Yeah, it's normal to have time apart. Thanks, Millie. Please, P. So, um, what was I gonna say? Applebee's, Twisty Misty. Yes, we're going to do all those things. Just give me time. I want to go eat somewhere. Let's go fight some people at the BQ. How should we start the fight, Hexy? Thanks, Marvels. No, they don't have Nashies right now. I'm disappointed. Honky, uh, haunted places, yes. Harvey's. I got a bunch of things, Cheryl Pennington's, from Pennington's. <laughs> Cash up, what? Yeah, um, orange tulip. So I have to go thrift shopping or something for all new house stuff. Dollar Tree has plates and things. <sighs> Yo, mom is stuck on a roller coaster? Agathon, what's up? Sam, Sam, and here. Hey, Tracy! How are you doing? Throw a handful of and the high pitched, you know, uh, yeah, little seven wonder if she'll get a working glucometer. That's an excellent question. Yeah. But he's cream. She no, should. I don't want to go to jail. Hi, Jenna. Thanks, Georgia girl. Do I have Cash App? I have PayPal. My PayPal. Ugh, 
please. A nashi is a Nashville chicken like sandwich or it's like spicy chicken basically. Yeah, spicy chicken. Yeah, so I'm not going to allow her to give her PayPal on my channel. You're not going to advertise that over here, you know. Just hey, just make more videos, do your thing, just like the rest of us, to get some work done, you know. Beard. I don't know like <laughs> Anyway, um he was like, can I sit here? And I was like, and I got mad. I was like, yes, you may. Um, I'm just going to go check if there's any other seats available. <laughs> and there were not. She came back because forks are legal in Canada. I mean, that is quite an incentive to return to your home country. Just so you can use a fork again. Yeah. And so I had to sit beside him, but he was fine. Yeah. The good thing about sitting beside someone very small when you're fat is they have more room that you can encroach on. <laughs> <sighs> so rude. She's so rude. Stranded in Utah. Thank you. I don't get to join lives here very often, but I always enjoy this channel and chat. Thank you. The chat here is like unmatched on YouTube. Seriously, we have the best chat here. For real. We do. Mad at the man who paid for the seat she was overlapping onto. OMG. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. No wheelchair, right? No more wheelchairs. Those are too much. Hey, Sir Austin. Honestly. She came back to Canada to get forked. Do you think she escaped the fork police? Do you think they were waiting for her at the airport? Like, maybe they were going to search her luggage to see if she was, like, bringing any forks with her out of the country? Could, I mean, fork issue is huge. Big, big fork issues. big fork issues fork me fork me <laughs> fork me fork you <laughs> a fork friendly complex oh my god you don't have to hide your forks anymore <laughs> um yeah 30 bucks to buy drinks at the airport chantal really really so it's hard to tell is she broke or not because she's complaining about buying beverages in the airport like you how long was your how long was your transfer? You were probably there like, what, six hours, four hours, maybe? May the fork be with you. <laughs> you know, really? Okay. They're only $30 if you're buying alcohol. <laughs> true, Megan 8. That's true. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, that could be. Hmm. Oh. Maybe it was her medicine for the flight. Wrong, like not a lot of things wrong with it that it needed a lot of oops thank you for telling me stella virgin and sir austin thank you thank you so much uh just jamie probably unpopular opinion but i think she was bored with the relationship just like with pete's and bb not her thing was drama and she loved the fight she needs constant validation from anyone and she wanted a bigger youtube audience again yes just jamie that's incredibly generous thank you so much thank you thank you i i I don't th yeah, I um I mean Salah is boring. Let's be real. He is very boring. Yeah. Thank you, Kavella. Thank you, Just Jamie. Thank you. It's very generous. But yeah, maybe you're right. That could be. And she probably was starting fights just to have, you know, like those people that need drama, like everything's going well, but they get to stir it up and like try to make things all dramatic for no reason. That could be, that could be, it's possible. Yeah. Maintenance, like regular maintenance. Cause it was, especially the brakes, they were like close to 2000. I'm not getting, it was like all, okay. If I called a regular mechanic who's known to be like fair price, blah, blah, blah. Cause they always say the dealership's scamming you. Well, 
this guy wasn't much cheaper. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with the actual Ikea. Was it OEM parts or something? Like original Kia parts and they guarantee their work. And Original OEM? Isn't OEM aftermarket? I could be wrong, but <laughs> isn't that an oxymoron? <laughs> original OEM? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Poison Pet it for you. You don't have to buy drinks in the airport if you have pretty privilege. If you're prettier than 90% of the women sitting at the bar, you don't have to pay 30 bucks for your drinks. <laughs> Too funny. Sir Austin, he was, uh, to add to your theory, he was trying to annoy her to leave towards the end. He, he, that's true. He was extra annoying, playing things on his phone loudly and just being immature. He was trying to chase her away. That's true. And when she was live streaming, like... You don't mess with somebody when they're live streaming like that. She was, I mean, he was intentionally finding annoying things to play and flicking the lights on and off. She even gave him a look like, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's possible. OEM is original. Oh, okay. It is? Okay. Huh. All right. <laughs> we need to clean the Kia, man. Need to clean the Kia. So, Oof. yeah, that was insane. Filthy. Okay, there we go. I cannot show my hair. No wife leaves her husband if you love him. Yeah, but I also love myself, so. I mean. No wife leaves her husband if she loves him? I wonder who said that. Original equipment manufacturer. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Let's hear that again. Sorry, I need to clean. I mean, we need to clean the Kia, man. So, yeah, that was insane. Okay, there we go. I cannot show my hair. No wife leaves her husband if you love him. Yeah, but I also love myself, so I'm here to work on myself. Anyways, that's her business, right? I don't. I can't pin my PayPal. Oh, I love myself. You don't have to, but if you want to, my PayPal is. <laughs> I don't know how to pin. I'm on my phone. It's C. Okay, get ready to write it down if you want to, but you don't have to. Content was, I don't know. My PayPal's my hot. Okay, my hotmail is C S A R A zero. <sighs> really? She doesn't know how to pin a comment. And yeah, Jack. Hi, Don. Welcome. <laughs> the green wait is the saddest. Like, why was it depressing for you guys? Just because you you guys are used to me having such an outgoing personality to being completely muted, or what? That's what it was, right? Hi, Georgia girl. So that's good. No, I have not seen the new documentary on this. <laughs> Dying good. Duck Fit, this is the part of the service where we pass the plate. Yes, now's the time to tithe to Church of Chantal. Yeah, here's her email. If you can look her up on PayPal. Yes, tithing is required. Yes. Good point. Yeah, don't say, it th doesn't she say it's not cheating if he's in a, di in a different country? Yes. Yeah, and she was uh, she was sleeping with some married man who had a wife and kids in Turkey. And yeah, she thought it was fine. Mm -hmm. No problem. So it should be no problem for Salah also. Yeah. Surprised she didn't give out her phone number, Anna Gags. <laughs> well, that's probably coming. Not me. <laughs> well... I think a lot of it is cultural. I don't think it's like hot on to laugh at farts. But I could be wrong. I don't know. If you're wrong, Chantal, if you even have that thought, like maybe what I, maybe I really don't know what I'm talking about, just stop. Stop talking. You don't know the difference between culture and religion. You yourself said that Halloween was your cultural holiday being a Canadian when Islam specifically calls out and names Halloween as something that we should not practice or acknowledge even. So, I mean, but you said you could, you said you could practice Halloween, you could participate as long as you weren't worshiping the devil. Those were her words. So, yeah, no clue. Hey, Alexis. No, I was like happy there, but like, yeah. I feel like I want to break free. <laughs> I want to break free. 
and eat chicken pot pie with some nashies. No, I have to get healthy, but first I need to, like, have a celebration. <sighs> Admit it. Thank you, Charlene. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes. That was depressing. I miss driving. Like, I love, I was driving down the, the long road singing, I can see, see you. <laughs> the Boys of Summer song. I'm, I don't have any plans to go back to Kuwait. I don't have a return ticket. I'm getting a place here. Down Under, thank you for joining me. Report me to the bees. So we need a Beezer army again so we can go marching into the bees. I tried my best. Thank you. Yeah, Jenny. she does tend to sing songs with lyrics of what she's thinking currently. So broken free, right, Chicken and Duck? Mm -hmm. She has broken free. And you can see just how, like, her personality just isn't, you know, she just, she doesn't know how to keep it all inside. She just has to, she is loud, she is gross, and she loves it. So I'm sure she felt very oppressed in Kuwait. I'm sure. These glasses. Maybe SUP someday. I don't know. I'm just taking it day by day now. No, Widow Too Young. Kiana. Like, even if I, like, taking off your hijab? No, I can't. I'm not doing that. Oh, Sir Austin. She was also singing Boys of Summer. New boyfriend arc. Hot girl summer coming up with Sheikh Chantal. Awesome. Church of Chantal is going to be twerking all summer. Mm -hmm. I want to come up with different hijab styles. Like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Like a more Western hijab style. And when I'm over there, I dress in abayas and hijabs. Like, you know, when in Rome. <laughs> a bees means, yeah, we can bees in a hijab. And I don't, I, I ate a non-halal chicken sandwich at the airport. Right away. Stop. 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 You don't have to confess. Stop confessing. Really. She, uh, <laughs> the fundamentals have not been learned. I just can't, like, it's just, she knows enough to, f oh, I can't, I can't. I don't even believe I was about to say that. She doesn't know the basics. She doesn't know the fundamentals of the religion. We are told to cover our sins, okay? We don't have to confess to the world what we've done. We don't have to. We have to talk to, if we, if we hurt somebody, we have to go to them and apologize and talk about it, yes. But we don't have to announce our sins or what we do, things that are clearly, you know, maybe not, not right. The reason, one of the reasons for that is that Everybody who knows about it is going to be able, now this is like our afterlife as Muslims, we believe that everyone who knows about your sin is going to be able to testify about your sin against you. She's telling thousands of people that, oops, I was hungry, so I ate this. Now, is that the worst sin? No, but just stop talking, Chantal. She hasn't ever gotten used to that, just keeping it to herself. That's what I'm saying with these thousands of people that she's that she's broadcasted to, not through her channel, but I mean, how many reaction channels have played this already? And it's only been a day. It's only been one day. Thousands of people. Not good. Not good. Keep it to yourself. That's the Catholic in her confession. I used to go to confession as a kid. And I didn't even have stuff to talk about in there. I just started making up stuff because I'm like, well, I got to go in there and they're going to tell me how many Hail Marys to say when I come out. But I didn't have anything. Like oh, I said, I was mean to my sister. Like, I mean, that's a sibling thing, you know. I don't know. Look at her face, though. She thinks it's cute and quirky. Right, Jen? Yep. Yep. She's like, tee hee hee. I ate, I ate non-halal chicken because I was starving. I was starving. <sighs> if she keeps it to herself, she got no content. True. Well, she's going to pay the price for that, unfortunately. But she doesn't know. She doesn't know. I was so hungry because I was like, after, I didn't eat like anything on the plane, Air Canada, because of the fact that uh, my stomach was so bad. So by the time I did so much walking, my body feels so bad right now. Teardrop, hi! Glad you're safe. I was buried. Thank you, Teardrop. Sorry if I missed you when you came in. Thank you. I appreciate that. 
Yeah, you can decide what being Muslim means to you. It's personal, exactly. There's no... <laughs> I can't even tell you the restraint I'm practicing at the moment. The amount of restraint. You don't... This isn't Church of Chantal. You don't get to decide what Islam is for you personally, okay? It doesn't work like that. It doesn't. You can let her have it. I am trying so <laughs> Listen, listen, okay? If I wanted to make a religion that just fit all of my whims and desires, okay, I could do that. I could do that. Would it be Islam? No. No, it would not. Not even close. Not even close. Oh my God. <laughs> I, get, I gotta play that again. I get, I'm just gonna let her say the whole thing. <sighs> so we can go marching into the bees. I tried my best. Thank you, Joey. These glasses. Maybe SUP someday. I don't know. I'm just taking it day by day now. <sighs> no, widow too young. Kiana. Like, even if I, like, taking off your hijab? No, I can't. I'm not doing that. Why, though, Chantal? Church of the Nafs. Totally. K. Mary. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> the Church of the Nafs. Chantal. That's right. Just do whatever, dude. Muslims everywhere. Right, chicken and duck. You know, we're pretty flexible. You know, just, like, do what works for you. Yeah, no problem. Well, you know, the hijab, I, I don't, okay. Oh, yeah, that's coming up. That's coming up. So I'll hold my comment about the hijab when she, when she gets to that. Well, I want to come up say. with different hijab styles. You should. Like, you know. I don't know. The undercap look is not flattering to anybody. I've never seen anybody go out in public like this all the time. Never. How to explain it. Ever. Like a more Western hijab style. Oh, God. What's a Western hijab style? What is a Western hijab style? Have you looked up Canadian hijab? Chantal, please show us what it is when you find it. They're dressed in abayas and hijabs, like, you know, when in Rome. <laughs> when in Rome. <laughs> a bees means, yeah, we can bees in a hijab. And I don't, I, I ate a non halal chicken sandwich at the airport, by the way. I was so hungry because I was like, after, I didn't eat like anything on the plane. Air Canada because of the fact that uh, my stomach was so bad. So by the time I did so much walking, my body feels so bad right now. Teardrop, hi! Glad you're safe. I was worried. Thank you, Teardrop. Sorry if I missed you when you came in. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, you can decide what being Muslim means to you. It's personal, exactly. There's no compulsion in Islam. Like they say, you're not, you know, like certain things anyways. It doesn't even say in the Quran, you have to wear a hijab on your head. <sighs> It does. It does. It does. It's interpreted that way by scholars, but mostly what it is. Ver it's interpreted that way by scholars, but you know better. You know better than scholars. Okay. Verbatim, it's like to cover, make like loose clothing so you can't see the form of your body. Like, uh -huh. don't dress like what uh -huh. we would call a skank dress, you know? A skank dress, like what you wore to your grandmother's funeral. Is that what you're talking about? So, um, yeah, listen, I just, I just don't, I just don't, I just don't, just, just, oh my God, Chantal, just stop, stop. You, she doesn't realize, like, it's, it's extremely distressing to me to hear her just spout off like this, all these untruths, complete untruths, right? It's not like she has a misunderstanding. She's been doing this for the last year, just constant, like, misinformation, constant. That in itself is very annoying because, you know, Islam, people have a perception of Islam as it is. We don't need this person saying, oh, you don't have to wear that. And, oh, you can make Islam what it is for you. It's very, yeah, no problem. Do what you want. Sure. She has no idea what she's doing in the grand scheme of things, the ripple effect that it's having. She has no idea, and she will find out. 
And as much as I don't find one redeeming quality in this person, I don't. I I seriously dislike her. I don't find her interesting. I don't think she's funny. I don't think that she's um, this. I can't relate to this person at all. There's nothing relatable about Chantal to me. Nothing. Most of the time, I really don't like watching her in general, okay? I just don't like her as a person. This person would never be around me in real life. I wouldn't be able to tolerate it. I would I'd walk away. Like, okay, go, go burp and fart over there. That's, you know, sorry, I'm a lady. Sorry. And as much as I dislike her, I am... <sighs> I actually feel, and please, please don't misunderstand me. There are always going to be people who are committed to twisting my words. I mean, do what you're going to do. But as much as I dislike her, as, as the things that she has done to people and animals and to my religion in the process also, as much as I dislike this person and don't have a ton of respect for her, okay, I feel bad for her for what she's going to have to face when she dies. I feel bad for her. I think it's going to be extreme. I think, right, make dua for her, right? Like, I, I would ask God to have mercy on her because I feel like it's going to be... I've done my own things, too, that I have to answer for. Believe me, I'm not going to confess them all here because I'm not required to do that. And it's not good for me to do that. But the misinformation that she has put out and bad image of Islam that she has put out to probably. I mean, think of what some of the views these some of these creators get. We're talking about tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, eventually people who hear her say these things that has a ripple effect who's to say someone just that happens to be listening to that doesn't go and repeat it somewhere and you you just don't know the ultimate effect that that could have she's gonna find that out she will find out <sighs> it's not good which I used to do. Yeah. But I don't miss that. I like to be covered up. Honestly, I do. I, I, I'm 40. I want to kind of start dressing my age. Not that if you want to dress, you know, like that when, when you're 60, that's no problem. But for me, I think I like, you know, like this stuff. Like, I don't know. I want to go walking too, Ribby. Yeah. Reginald doll! My, the doll I was going to get for my birthday. Reggie, please. Welcome. So, yeah. Thanks, Leslie. Hey, Brooke. Thank Cumbersome. you, Marla. You're right. Welcome, cumbersome. Ready, set, peace. Peace. <laughs> that is a good question, Isabella. And don't worry about, I don't expect anyone to know anything about Islam. I just assume that, like, people might have, like, a basic understanding. Like, okay, I know they don't eat pork. I know they pray five times a day. And, like, maybe that's all. That's it. And that's totally fine. Like, I welcome people here to, you know, just, like, to get away from this misinformation. And I don't know everything. I am definitely, I didn't study theology. I'm not an, I'm not an expert on Islam by any stretch. There's plenty that I don't know that I'm still learning. So feel free with your questions. And there are Muslims in the chat also who are definitely happy to answer your questions as well. 100% there are. So um, the question was, what happens if she doesn't want to be Muslim anymore? I will ask the other Muslimas in the chat. That's what I thought. <laughs> Kaya Mary says nothing. I mean, it's not like she's in a country that, like, it's not like she's in a village in Afghanistan where the Taliban is going to, like, come get her if she, if she renounces Islam. That's not going to happen. She can just... She doesn't even have to declare it. But for her, I'm sure she will. I'm sure she will. That would be also a mistake, but whatever, you know. And I don't mean a mistake as in, like, something would happen to her here in this lifetime. No, no. I think the most on YouTube will be like, aha, 
Aha, we thought so. And that'll be the end of it, pretty much. So, yeah, but nothing will happen to her. I mean, now what about the Muslimas in the chat? I'm curious what your thoughts are on this. And Muslima, by the way, is just a, a female Muslim. Muslima. Um, what would happen to her, like, in the afterlife? Not here. I guess it would depend. Ex it would depend on what she actually renounced. Like if she said, "I still believe in God, but I can't be Muslim anymore." That would be one thing. If she says, "I don't believe in anything anymore," that's a bigger problem. That's a bigger problem. You don't want to be Muslim. That's fine. She's responsible for her deeds, right? Right. Oh, absolutely, Isabella. Ask any anything you want. I don't think she'll ever officially renounce Islam. She'll just stop talking about it one day, Amanda. Hopefully. Hopefully she stops talking about it tomorrow. <laughs> she rejects Islam, then she will be questioned in the grave and punishment will start there, right? Yeah, one of the questions that were asked in the grave is, um, like, what did you follow in your on your time on earth? She'll be one of the kafarin, yeah which is disbeliever, disbeliever. Did Chantal ever address how recently she stated she had taken the Shahada the previous September when there's proof otherwise? She hasn't addressed that. Yes, Tara Mama, you could absolutely read the Quran if you want to. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Kay Mary. Who is your Lord? Who is your prophet? What is your holy book? These are the questions that will be asked in the grave. Yeah. We do believe in hell, human beings. That's not an ignorant question at all. We do. Yeah, we sure do. It's called Jehennam in Arabic. Jehennam. You were born a Catholic and stopped answering to the Catholic Church? Yeah, I was too, Isabella. Yeah, I know. And then I was Protestant for a little while. <laughs> I read the Quran in college for a class. That's awesome, chicken and a duck. It's multiple levels of hell and Islam. I... I believe so. I'm not 100% sure. There's multiple levels of heaven, of Jannah, but I don't know about Jahannam for sure. I believe so, but I don't feel sure about that answer at all. Multiple levels of heaven and hell. Thank you, K. Mary. If one day she felt overwhelmed with Islam, she better not say, I'm not believing in God and his messengers anymore. Right? right. God forgive us. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Oh, for hell? The, the word for hell in um, Arabic? Yes, sure. It's Jahannam. Like that. Seven levels. I was born bitter, so I follow no religion, Chow Mein. I understand that. I get it. I just typed it in the chat up above. It ends with an M, like Mary. I'm not sure if there is a punishment for leaving Islam. I've learned that the bigger punishment, and if, as if she talks poorly about it and encourages others to question or leave, true. True. I mean, she should just keep her entire, all of her beliefs, her religion to herself. She has no idea the impact that she's having. Yeah. Can we deity wig these? <laughs> no. I don't even, oh no, I don't have my wig. Maybe. No. Thank you, Lin um, Linda. Yeah, my glasses are new. No wine. I'm not going to drink alcohol. But uh, no. Turbo Toots, welcome to Vampire Museum's Radio Peace. Hi, Glam Girl. Thank you, everybody. Michelle. I'm tickle my nose. So I'm pretty much just going to bees around the bush. I'm going to take some pain meds. No, no. How many milligrams? Yeah, I can have one, one more pill. Because that's my brand is Foodie Beauty, you know? Is Incorporea a real person or AI? I don't know. Never heard of them. Thanks for the super chat. Who's that? 
<laughs> Brittany, what's going on? Tangerine? Thank you. Nashy girl. I'm looking for my Kleenex. I was run out of Kuwait by the Islamic radicalists. No, I wasn't. They're not, there's no radicalists I in am Kuwait. so annoying. Those are mostly in Syria, Afghanistan, Pakistan. Not the Gulf countries. Maybe Saudi Arabia. No, I don't know. <laughs> My God. Sorry, sorry, I'm gross. She truly doesn't care. She doesn't care. Oh, that yeah, she's I, was gross. To, so I was listening to the Dire Straits. I need to. And I can't go to eat. My hijab is slipping. Pakistan bees. Her hijab. <laughs> Hi, Miss Linda. Did it, Brenda? No. Pete's bees, please. He's working. What do you want for your birthday? I don't know. My birthday's over. <laughs> Fupa clap and celebrate with class. I would. <laughs> I had a decent birthday. Hi, Ribby. Happy belated birthday. Thank you, Ribby. Thank you. <sighs> I don't even care who's talking shit about me right now. I feel too, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Happy. <laughs> Hi, Scrape Goat. Sister, I think you missed the answer prayer today. Oh, no. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I did, actually. <laughs> but again, stop. That's Chantal, stop. 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't tell people about prayers that you miss, that you, you ate non-halal food. Just stop. Stop. These are the basics that she has not learned. Are you looking for the, the chapter? I can get that. If someone doesn't already know it in the chat. And that lady actually went to Jehennem, not Jenna. Those are Jehennem is hell and Jenna is heaven. She went to Jehennem for locking the cat in a room. And didn't set it free so that it could, like, care for itself, basically. If anyone happens to know that chapter, feel free. I'm just going to look it up real quick. Oh, I do have, um, I do have an app on my phone now. Let's see. Let me play her while I'm looking. I was doing a lot today. I was out. And I can't, I'm not doing it. Like, I can do it in my heart in public, but... Mike, remember for three months, happy belated birthday 40th. Thank you, Mike. Ready, set, rebies. <laughs> Thank you. Zoe, I got back to Canada yesterday. Yeah, I'm staying in Canada for good. We should do a stories. <coughs> Boycotting, supposed to. Um... So yeah, just I came back here like for many reasons. Like there's just I don't even know how to give one answer. So those pillows? What? Hi Susie. I go back and forth. Do you know how many times I've made this trip? Like what, six? I'll read my chat. Sorry, Brittany, what did I miss? I'm so full of life, love the sun rain. Down under shopping bees. Yeah, I'm still married. I'm so relieved when I come back here. Well, you know, while I'm here, yeah, like, there's a relief, but at the same time, there's, like, a heartache a bit, you know? So, yeah. Oh, well, that's life. I want to be somebody. I want to be somebody, Billy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Canada looks good on you. Mimi Pondu, <laughs> let's go buy a mullet wig. Ready? Welcome to the first one. Get please. Okay, let's. I'm gonna go drive somewhere to have dinner and then. Whoa, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. The stupid thing. <laughs> oh, gosh. I gotta lose weight. <sighs> don't you fall. Circle in the sand. Yeah, church up. Yes, I'm getting Sam. And yes, I'm gonna take very good care of him. His nails are not gonna get too long. Chantel's trusty box, yeah. Mall up. Two of these. Yeah, that's true. Some of the abusers are coming back. Falls deep, you can dream on. I'd rather be dead. Can we go egg their house? Yeah, I have a video. Yeah, I filmed some of the journey. Yep. <clears throat> We're not over. No. Circle in the sand. Thank you, Brittany! 
Yeah, Sam is coming back. Yeah. My poor guy. There's a tractor coming. Hi. There's a tractor with a, a guy who's carrying a big piece of a tree. I didn't escape. Yes, of course. Let the farting begin. No. <laughs> I have been to Germany. No, you've been to an airport. Yes, it is Hadith. Thank you, K Mary. K Mary's pretty knowledgeable, to say the least. So, let me. I think this might be interesting for everybody just because of, you know, her talking about Sam, right? So. Um, what does Islam say about caring for animals? What is obligatory for the Muslim is to be kind to animals and not harm or annoy them. It was reported that a woman was published because of a cat. Al-Bukhari narrated from Ibn Umar, May Allah be pleased with them both, that the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said a woman went to hell because of a cat which she tied up and did not feed it or let it eat of the vermin of the earth. So she didn't set it free so that it could eat, you know, vermin like mice and rats couldn't go like find a mouse to like feed itself. So kept it, you know, captive and didn't feed it or give it water. So the woman went to hell for that. And Allah forgave a prostitute because she was kind to a dog. Al-Bukhari also narrated that Abu Huraya, may Allah be pleased with him, said the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said whilst the dog was walking around a well, almost dying of thirst, one of the prostitutes of Bani Israel saw him, took off her shoe and gave him water. So she filled up her shoe with water and gave the water to the dog. She was forgiven because of that. Whoever harms an animal has to repent to Allah for that because the Lord of the animals is the one who has commanded us to be kind towards them. So we are required to show we have to be, I mean, it's, it really is, it, it is specified. We have to take care of their, their physical needs, their emotional needs, their, you can't psychologically torment an animal. Like that is all haram. You want to talk about haram? That's haram. Next question from Muslim Nesties. Chaos B. In the English written Quran, is he referred to as God or Allah? I can take a look. I would think reading it, being immersed in the culture for one year would have made Allah the norm. I say God to people who either aren't Muslims or think that God and Allah are two different things. I usually say God, unless I'm speaking, unless I'm reading something like this or like in the Quran. But if I'm talking to people, um, I'll use God. Don't mess with animals. That's right. Leave Sam alone. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Only the German, the uh, Frankfurt airport. I can't. That's right. Marwa says, God has 99 names. The 99 names of Allah. I showed you guys a, um, a plaque that we had in the first apartment that I lived in in Egypt. And we had it by the door. All the names. Yeah. So. Yeah. Pipe in the... I can't type in the chat. It's not possible for my PayPal. Unless someone wants to type it. It's C S A R A C Sarah. I mean, just have one of your moderators pin it to the top, really. Hey, Granny Noodles. With the camera pointing upward. Or maybe she's doing that on purpose because she knows reaction channels will play her. And won't look at the chat necessarily. Maybe that's why she's saying it verbally. I wonder. Oh, no, I can't hmm. do that. Something will happen. Welcome back, No Name. 
We all miss you. Thank you, Sunflower. It's very hard leaving him. It's not easy. Chantal, the link is for the people. They don't want to be attacked for supporting your channel. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Me personally, I don't care. No, I totally get that. Yeah. Can we get stoned tonight? When I get my own place, we can have like a... I don't know. Hamburger eyes bees in. No. <laughs> hamburger eyes bees in. In her new apartment. Okay. I mean, yeah, she's letting us know. Just Jamie's going to bed. Okay. Thank you so much, Just Jamie. I hope you have a wonderful sleep tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Green Dragon. That's interesting because the book of Paul states that the word believe is in there 99 times and the 100th time is you. Interesting. Huh. Very interesting. Good night, Just Jamie. Can she type in the chat if she wants? Yes, Waldo's World. She absolutely can. Yes. For sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. We can have, like, you know, a hangout at night. I can do, like, live streams, like, three times a day again. <laughs> Coffee bees, dinner bees, cooking bees, and night bees. Good night, Monty B, and good night to Frank. Good night, Frankster. Pretty bird. Good night. And Mario Bees. <sighs> no, I'm too nervous driving in Kuwait. I still have the same old CPAP. Yeah, I'm going to get food, Cassidy. They have healthcare, but it's expensive for, like, certain things. You know? I was attacked and accused of being a troll. People don't know we've been friends for a while. Yeah, I heard that. No name. That's not cool. Anyways, um, I'm trying to think of what I want to eat. Where do I want to take you guys? What are we in the mood for? Asian, Indian, not Indian. St. Hubert's, <laughs> the pot pie. She bring her play button home. Hey, Brenda, thank you. Lock my, I brought my play button home because I'm going to have it. I'm going to send it back. And they're going to send me one that says Foodie Beauty. <laughs> because the Merriam one is damaged. Like, there was a dent in it. So they said if it's damaged, I can return it. They will send me a label. I return it. And then once they get it, they'll send me one back. So, Foodie Beauty. Mm-hmm. Yep. After we went through the identity crisis of, like, Foodie Beauty is dead to me. I'm everyday Merriam. Okay. Okay. It's all back now. Okay. Several of the owls around here are not as nocturnal as you would think, as you would expect, me included, we're sniffer. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's like 10 o'clock on the East Coast. Thank you for all answering my curiosity questions. I'm not Muslim, and I find her offensive to the religion, but I don't want to be offended if y'all aren't. No, we're not. I mean, I'm not. I don't want to speak for the other people, but I haven't seen any... Muslims say that they are truly offended by Chantal. Right, Kay Mary, we're just embarrassed for her. Embarrassed for her, it's like, ugh, just stop. It's cringe overload, basically. Can you get one with a new name on it? Especially since she's returning that one, I think she can. Because when you when you redeem your code, when you... Um, when you get your, your verified 100,000 and you can redeem your code to, to have the plaque sent to you, it does ask you to put on there what you want the channel name to say and the address that you want it sent to. So it doesn't have to be already established. So you're not offended either, Marwa? Yeah. She dropped the everyday Miriam for a reason, sister number six. Mm-hmm. I just waved at a farmer. <laughs> yeah, that's not halal though. There's not much halal stuff here. Smash it with a hammer and get a new one, inshallah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. I might roll down the hill, yeah. Because I'm dressed modest, I can do a modest hill rolling. Put 10. Yeah. Modest hill rolling? Sounds like modest twerking. I don't think she says much else. Um, oh, I don't think she says much else in the rest of this live stream, but please let me know if she does, because I think we should move on to the other one, because she, her mood changes drastically because Salah enters the chat. So I think I'd like to move on to that, unless there is something else in here that we need to 
that we need to address. Yeah. Thank you, Hippiesta. Yeah. Hit like and subscribe, please. She is very annoying. Yeah. Hey, May. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Does the Quran say how God came to be our God or has or God has always been there? God has always been there. You think I could skip? Yeah, Salah came into the chat when she, because this is like the daytime on, yeah, April 2nd, yesterday. Wow, it feels like it's already been like seven days since she's been back. And she goes and gets the pot pie and Salah comes into the chat and her mood totally changes. Totally. So, yeah, let's go on to that one then. Let's do that. Because she is extremely annoying. Now, I will have to pull that up on her channel. Hopefully, the chat is still there. I Because we need to watch the chat with this. Because he is in the chat. And her mood, like, shifts. Obviously, an abruptly changed chaos bee. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to answer this, do you only eat halal? Oh, that's a very good question, Hippiesta. I will, because we don't divulge things that, you know, can be used against us, basically. But I, what I will say, Hippiesta, is that any Muslim, if they truly don't have the option, if we say Bismillah before we eat, it is, you know, it is fine to eat. And But it really is all about our intention. So, you know, like eating vegetarian is perfectly fine. Eating fish is fine. But when it comes to meat, the meat. Now, that does not include pork. Okay. So, like, you would really, you'd have to be on a deserted island and near death. Like, you've been there for, like, 90 days and all you've been, you've been drinking a little bit of water and eating leaves and stuff. But they happen to have pigs on the island. But you're going to die. Okay. In that case, God doesn't want you to die. All right. But if I just say bismillah over a plate of pork, no, that is not okay. I can easily avoid pork in my life. But when it comes to, like, halal beef, halal chicken, if it's not truly not available to me, and it's not just about convenience, it's about truly not available, then if we say bismillah in advance, but it's truly about intention. So if she's just like, you know, oh, I, I really missed chicken pot pie, I'm going to have chicken pot pie, bismillah, and then, well, you know, is there halal chicken near you? You know, did you even look? Like, you know, God knows our intention and how much we truly try. So... I do not live in a very diverse area, unfortunately. Um, once my remaining pooches from Egypt um, have returned to God, once all of them have, then I will be moving out of my area to a more diverse region, for sure. Because it's not only... Um, it's just boring, really. It's very boring not having diversity. It's boring. Uh, let's see. And not, an all, not a lot of Muslims, like hardly any. Okay. Foodie. Beauty. Yeah, the pork is not okay, for sure. Uh, her channel doesn't even come up. Okay, let's see. Foodie beauty. All right. We definitely need the chat. She, I mean, she just doesn't look good, you know, like at all. St. Hubert's Bees and Sadness. It's only 45 minutes. So let me get that set up for us. Like it's kind of like dusk when she starts and then it gets real dark. Like she's in the dark eating. So... Just weird, you know? Real weird. Like she can't find a place to live stream, I guess. There we go. Let's pick an owl. Which owl should we put up? I gotta pick it out. The 
this will work for now, but I'm going to keep looking. Okay. This is my self food, so don't be mad. But Crown owl, yes. This I'm craving it by. You're right. Crown owl. Comfort food is what it is. Look at her it camera. Makes me not be sad. Oh, wow. <laughs> Comfort food makes me not be sad. That's insane. Uh, Hippiesta has been a nasty bestie for three months. Thank you uh, so much for this community and for your knowledge. Peace be with you. Thank you, Hippiesta. Peace also be with you. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's very nice. Thank you. I love all the positivity. It's definitely needed for sure. Thank you. Much appreciated. Gotta find our crowned owl. You know what would make me happy if this stupid thing? Yes. Oh. Hi. Oh no, I have two of them scheduled. <laughs> Hi, Brooke. Why am I messing up my streams? So gravy. This is not what I want to do with my life. Okay. Hi guys. What? No, I shouldn't be eating this. Sambosa, yeah. Don't say these things. I want to go back already, but I'm not going to. Hi Gemini. Hi everybody. I miss. I missed too many people again to catch up on it. Okay, I got Saint Hubert's. I don't want to eat in the restaurant for some reason, so I just took it to go. Rosemary's baby. Hi, Jackie, Susie, everyone I missed. Hello, Melissa. <laughs> hey, Trixie. No, I don't have two strikes. I got a strike before, but it only lasts 90 days. That's why it's gone. So if you could not strike my channel, that would be great. Oh. Fries and gravy. So if you do have a channel and if you ever get a strike, do your best not to announce it because, because <laughs> if you, you know, we all, we all channels have people that don't care very much for them. You know, no matter, you know, some have more than others. When people know that you have a strike and they, they want you gone, they will go hard at your channel. Because all they, all you need is three in a 90 day period. So if she gets two, you, I mean, just think of it. If you knew she had two strikes and if you knew her channel would be gone, how, I mean, think about how many people would report everything, everything, right? So if you get a strike on your channel for any reason, it can be hard to keep it to yourself. But it really is best to because your whole channel is at risk, basically. Just stay quiet about it. Just, you know, just, just chill. Try to. Whoops, oops, sorry. Okay, I went through the drive-thru and I'm like, hey, can I order your pot? <laughs> this is going to be a huge box of in here. I'm like, hey, can I order your pot pie? That's right, Em. Like, you can. Hey, yep. Aisha, hey, thank you for the super um thing, or the, the birthday message. I did see it just n not long ago. Thank you. I'll like it in a, in a bit. Hey, Desert Rose. Look at this. Silva Yell. Hi, Meep. Hi, everybody. Don't start, Brenda. Hi, Joey. Okay. <clears throat> um. Okay, so if you're just coming in, hi. Welcome. Hey, Mons. Um, so this happened last night. Okay, this is her St. Hubert's Bees and Sadness, it's titled. Salah does come into the chat on this live stream and her mood instantly changes so that's what we're watching for in the chat for Salah to show up what am I gonna <laughs> give me two forks probably think that's gonna be for two people oh uh, yeah it's... It, no it's one pot pie hi Z hey Anastasia okay what are we gonna eat first some fry and gravy okay let's have some fry and gravy Forgot ketchup. Hi, Sabri. Jokes on them. Rosemary's. 
I don't have any lights in here, hardly. You ready to pop high? No. So I'm just going to point something out, okay? So people are like, oh, you're no longer fasting. She does have a medical exemption. She does not have to fast, okay? But what I want to point out, let's see, Brenda's saying, um, oh, Brenda has a picture of Didi. Is Ramadan over? You only need to wait a few minutes for suhoor. It would actually be iftar, the breaking of the fast, iftar. And we use that word also for breakfast. I ask the dogs in the morning if they're ready for iftar. So I, but this is interesting. Okay. This is how, when we say covering our sins and I kind of say sins like quote unquote sins, cause she doesn't have to be fasting, but Aisha Obeda says it's iftar time guys, whether it is or not, it might not be, but this is how we cover for each other because she's, if she is announcing that she's not waiting for the evening prayer and that she's, you know, this is all witnesses to what she's doing. And it's just not good. It's not good. But this is how we cover for each other. Like Aisha knows that nobody in the chat is going to know exactly when the evening prayer is or when it's time to have iftar. But she's saying it's iftar time. She can eat even though she, she doesn't even have to be fasting. So that's something that you may not pick up on you know, if you're not Muslim, but that is something I, I'm not surprised to see that. So. No, because I have to take medications and I need to drink water because of my diabetes. No, it's not enabling. <laughs> it's yellow Scorpio. It's not enabling. This is, and I'm just saying if this is the case, okay, it may not even be the case. She doesn't even have to be fasting. She really doesn't. And what's annoying about Chantal with this whole song and dance is that she, you know, she didn't have to fast. She was in Kuwait and she said she was fasting. And now everything's out the window. So she looks like a hypocrite. But she doesn't even have to be fasting at all since she has diabetes. Like at all. So it's, it's like making it an issue when it never even had to be. So... But it's not enabling Chantal. It's it's what we do for each other as Muslims. So that's new to you, <laughs> Marwa. Yeah, I've seen it a lot. No, it's not. No, it's in a way it's uh, I don't know how to really. <sighs> we cover sometimes we cover the sins. Now, it could be. <laughs> You know, it could be. I'm just pointing it out. See, sometimes I don't point out things like this because, you know, this is the reaction. Like, oh, so you guys are liars and you're enabling her? No. Maybe, I don't know. I'm probably just not explaining it correctly. But, yeah, we always give, you know, the benefit of the doubt to each other for sure. And, yeah. And Ayesha, you know, if she does know Chantal, that she may really consider her to be her sister. Now, you don't hear me saying, oh, the evening prayer has always has already happened. There's no way for me to know that. I don't know what time it is there, you know, or when it was. So, And Ayesha might not know either because the time is going to vary depending where you are in the world. There's somebody coming. You're not required to fast if you have medical reasons. And you're going to think, just an excuse, whatever. It's not. I mean, it is, yeah. But it's a valid one, you know. <laughs> I did at the beginning fast, yeah. But my health is different now. From last Ramadan to this one, <gasps> all a lot worse. I'm on medications now. I wasn't before. Holding on for the tab. That is the best way to say it. I think you make each other appear as good as possible. You have each other's backs. Yes. I think that's probably the best way to. Yeah. Thank you. Peace. Yeah, they're gone. Yeah, yeah, Lou. Uh huh. <clears throat> like the wise guys traveling through the desert. What? 
<laughs> the wise guys traveling through the desert? <laughs> this is so good. This gravy from uh... the wise guys. Our queen is back in Canada. We miss Juliana. I know, Wama Tene. Me too. I really do. I'll be seeing her soon. I mean, I'll see her again soon, inshallah. Like, well. She's drinking the gravy. One day. I feel like, like, I have <sighs> two homes, two families. It's weird. No, not wise men. Wise guys, like the mafia. <laughs> the three wise guys. <sighs> exactly peony if she said from the start guys i can't fast because i have diabetes it's okay but in kuwait she didn't do that in kuwait it's hot it's the worst weather to fast right she makes an issue out of it when it's not an issue she i mean anyone would have said any muslim in any chat would have said she has a medical exemption because she's diabetic it's i mean that's very well documented and known but she is making it an issue for herself by first saying she's fasting and then then she's like oh well it's a and it's it's an excuse well not really ha <laughs> it's like it just is so trivial to her and she doesn't realize that it's being an it's becoming an issue for people who are critiquing her because but she didn't even have to be fasting in the first place so it's it's an issue and it never had to be him and beans thank you <laughs> the three wise guys tony lou and Vito. <laughs> i like it thank you tony lou and Vito. so there were these three wise guys walking through the desert yeah <laughs> Thank you, Kavella. Thank you, Ham and Beans. I appreciate that. What's in the gravy? The plant 18 plus in uh, the God little... only knows. Are we getting sand back? Yeah, we are, Aisha. Hi, Energy. Yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see. No, I have to not put 10. Hi, Graf and Matt. It's just frying gravy. How does she not know? How does she know if that's not made with pork? Like, even if she's not eating, like, strictly halal for the meat... A lot of things are flavored with pork. A lot. You have to ask. Do you think she asked? Probably. Not. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully. I would have liked the plane incident. Oof. Yeah, last for the eclipse. Monday in court. Monday in court. What? The eclipse? Really? Mm, no, I'll drive up to the country. She got chased by geese. Chewing so loud. Oh, it's coleslaw. I don't have a computer. Crunch, 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 crunch. Uh -huh. Sam's neck beard. <laughs> You're such a basement dweller, Sam. You're such a basement dweller. I can't wait to yell at him again. But cutely. So she's the still. I'm missing, and there's a stain on my heart. Is for. She's still a little crazy. Oh, here he is. Here he is. He just made his appearance. Okay. So, I mean, she's like making the Sam voice. She's like, ah, right. And here's him. Your family here is missing you a lot with the face. It's like with the, with the eyes closed, looking like sad and with a red heart. Oh, Salah. Oh yeah. Ultimate chaos. I can't wait to yell at him again. Yeah. Nice. Huh? I don't feel right. Like, I feel weird. I have to go home. You are weird. <laughs> I feel like I've, like, been living that life too long. Now I miss that. Oh. <gasps> no. They forgot my Nashville chicken tenders. Those mother... She almost called the people at the restaurant MFers for forgetting her chicken tenders. <laughs> MFers? MF? Really? Okay. I ordered. I ordered two oh. Nashville chicken tenders. Nice. <laughs> to go in my pot pie. To go inside the pot pie. She oh, is charming. I can't stand that. I hate when they get the order from her. Hopefully, you can vlog a Palestine rally. Well, my tene oh, yeah, they have them, eh? A? Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, go to one. Maybe. A? Hmm, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The Nashies. <sighs> 
So no one even said hello to Salah in the chat no, that I noticed. I hmm. Well, I had a big lunch, though. <laughs> Why don't you take that as a sign from the universe, Chantal, that you didn't need chicken tenders? <laughs> yeah, she would never go to a rally. She would feel she wouldn't feel authentic. Not Kuwait, that was the problem. I was boring in Kuwait. Yes, very, very boring, very. I'm not. I wasn't physically well. Enough. Because of all the health issues I incurred on myself. Mm -hmm. Incurred on herself. English major. Or else I could have done a lot more. Oh, Mary Sparkle. You don't think it's actually Salah? Hmm. They did say hi? Okay. It's really sad. Yep. I know. Susie, I'm still, I'm looking for a place now. Yeah. Yeah, that Richard guy said he was going to fly to Kuwait and take her out to dinner. And she was like, oh, I'm married. She hasn't, like, addressed him directly yet, I don't think. Now she's all depressed. Smooth. Decorating my new place. I'm going to Goodwill. <laughs> Honestly, first thing, I'm just going to order a bed and have like a really nice bed. Bed. I'm just bed rot when I'm at home. Mm -hmm. Because. God. I don't need all kinds of furniture. I just need a bed and a chair for the kitchen. <laughs> a chair for the kitchen. <laughs> So I'll just get those things. Hey, ghost face. <laughs> exactly, Rosemary's. <clears throat> How are you going to forget my Nashville tenders, however? You speed her up a little bit. I'm going to go back there. There's a bubble-headed bleach blonde comes on at five. She can tell you about the plane crash with the gleam in her eye. It's interesting when people die. They love dirty laundry. It's interesting when people die. Okay. Kick them when they're up, kick them when they're down. Okay. Hi, Andrea. I'm planning on staying in Canada. But I'm hurt. Yes, he fits. Happy belated. Thank you. Will you and Pete's be roomies again? So here's Salah saying hello to Lizzie, Brenda, Desert, Rose, and Katie. Hi, babe. She just noticed them. Babe, they forgot my chicken tenders. <laughs> the chicky stew. Hey, me. I know it's dark, but my lights in here suck. <laughs> Maui. Oh, I'm sorry, Sue. While you're going through a separation, you can see the hurt. Hang in there, Don Henley. I make my living off the evening news. Just give me something, something I can use. People love it when you lose. They love dirty laundry. Isn't that so true? I am so <laughs> annoying. Howie, Julia, don't make me feel worse. I already feel heartbroken that I have to leave them. I gave my cats away for Trust you. Me. I gave my cats this is away so for good. you. I can't stop eating. Boring. I really should have tried harder to make better content, but you know what? Then I think I'm right where I need to be, honestly. I am so annoying. 
<laughs> Honestly, first thing, I'm just gonna order a bed. Babe, they forgot my chicken tenders. <laughs> Wait, Julia, don't make me feel worse. I already feel heartbroken that I have to leave them. Hmm. Trust me. Just shoveling in food. Don't do drugs. Good advice, Anna. This is so good. <laughs> I can't stop eating. Can't stop eating. Oh, you should try to stop. It's like smoking. Try to stop. At least try. I want to get healthy. You do? <laughs> For what? <laughs> the gravy ball. Do you know how easy it is to say that while you're eating something delicious? Oh yeah, I'm gonna get <laughs> this will satisfy me for life. I'm not gonna eat anymore. Done. Find something else to satisfy <laughs> you. My goodness. Yeah. It's killing you. How's Julia and Howie? He's texting what? somebody else, Chantal. It's taken him a oh, while to respond. Yeah. I got pot pie, fries, gravy, and chicken tenders, but they forgot them. So I'm going back. Wow. I'd be like, what the heck, man? Can I your drum? I would just take it as a sign. From it's the more universe. complicated for him to come here than me to go there, but. Or God, or whatever. I think you shouldn't have him. Boring. I don't know. I miss my family there. <laughs> oh. See how my dumb mind All works? Luck. Yes, you know that's like? fine. But I've moved on from my life here, and now I'm like, it's not the same as before. Mm hmm. You have to be shitting me. I don't know, I'm just sad. So cheer me up! I'm just joking. I'm 39, I'm f***ing diabetic, and I'm not into weird fetishes anymore. The heat is bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm eating St. Hubert's teardrop. It's the last saying hello to teardrop. Both gravy and chicken pot pie. I come back. I feel torn between both. Whoa! Ones. Dominion sorcerer, yo land whale. Why did you ditch Kuwait and your husband in the middle of Ramadan? Seems a wee bit halal. Yikes. I wish I could live in both when I feel like it, you know? You think teardrops on the blue sofa? Probably. I thought I knew what love was. What did I know? Those days are gone forever. I should just let them go. But... I love Don Henley. As you can see. And no one deleted it. Who else does? Salat didn't delete it. This was yesterday. Hmm? Hi, Fanny. The sun is setting. I don't watch Bridgerton. I didn't like it. I tried. Hmm. Anyways, guys. Sorry, I'm like literally picking out. Thanks, your drop. It's one of the best places around. There's St. Hubert's in Ottawa, Gatineau, Cornwall. There's one everywhere, but it's like a Canadian chain. <laughs> Colors the sofa the now. He's talking about the flooding in Kuwait. Babe, do you miss me? Do you ever feel like you need extra reassurance sometimes? I hope we get some leaked DMs Hi, Millie. from this time period. Pop by. I hope. In my car. This is sad. Did you hear about Miss Hussey? Want to, want to know what happened? Can do. I'm not going to say is it we. I'm not going to say that. I'll stink out your car. Yeah, I feel like a pig right now. Well. <laughs> Sweet for 300k. You really think that? Well. What is 
He's saying Desert Rose, it's a good idea and a lovely romantic moment between Julia and Sam. What did Desert Rose say? Like to bring Julia to Canada? Salah can bring you Julia and Howie to meet Sam. Okay. I don't know anymore. I, I really don't know. I have an opinion on that. Here's to being indecisive all the time. <laughs> Here's being too indecisive all the time. Thank you, Yeti. I hate it so much. Sam and Julia babies. <clears throat> Sam has no balls. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Everyone's asking her why she left Kuwait in the middle of Ramadan. No. That's like a planned thing. Being indecisive is not good for you. For people to ask like that. So many in a row. Oh my god, there's too much good food here. No. <sighs> Julie is Muslim and Sam isn't. <laughs> Can't wait for Sam. No. Honestly, I was like, I needed that break. Like, that was a godsend. That was divine intervention, okay? I'm not kidding. Was it the universe? I was getting really involved in the talk. I was getting, becoming really toxic, and I was like, you know, Oh, really? <laughs> she was becoming toxic? Moving, I can focus on. Wow. Really? Anything else? Hmm. I'm not divorced. I never got divorced. Hmm. When did I get divorced? Becoming. <laughs> I'm in my car. She's starting to get toxic. Hi, no name. What orangutan? Why did I leave in the middle of Ramadan? Why not? <laughs> it is odd. Like get on a Zempic, maybe it'll make your tackles easier. Thanks, Sophie. I have to talk to a doctor. Yeah, Thank you. you do. Yeah, corn chowder. <sighs> yeah, I seem happier. I don't see it. Hmm. Jessica. Brenda, we can barely see thee. <laughs> it's so weird. Like, I understand people being happy that I'm here, but like, it's like people really are happy. Like, they want me to live like I don't know. Farts and Sharts said, Chantal, he cheated on you. Please let that man go already. And Salah is like, Teardrop, Julia, and Howie are fine and happy. Mm hmm. No name says, Salah, hello, my friend. Okay. I just feel sad all of a sudden. I feel homesick for Kuwait. <laughs> and at this point, she had been there for two days. I miss sleeping with someone. <laughs> Okay. Hi, Nadia. You slept with a hamster? I'm so, I'm the worst person. Yeah, we know. Drinking gravy is healthy? No. Ew, I watched a really nasty movie. Look how fast it got dark. It's called The Green Inferno. Yeah, I remember when she modded No Name. It was basically because yeah. they paid her so much. Well, I never did anything in Kuwait. That's why it was boring. I'm sure, I could have made it interesting. Chantal, they you want you to the bash me. Salah. That's what they want. No, it's not going to happen. Yeah, it is. It's just a matter of time. I love him. He's my husband. Sure. <laughs> He's an ama amazing man. Uh -huh. Oh, amazing. Amazing. You get some low ass standards. But amazing he's most. amazing. Like, you know? Yeah, he's amazing. <clears throat> Shad, what? Hi, hi, everybody. He's I'm amazing. so mad about my tenders. 
Oh yeah, look at Teardrop. Is she flirting with Salah? Look at this. Salah is King Beezer. She's putting all of his uh, emojis in the chat. Salah is great. Oh really? Hmm. Better be careful, Teardrop. Chantal's gonna get jealous. Babe. Oh, Salah just turned on subscribers only mode. A moderator turned on subscribers of only of five minutes or longer can send messages. She doesn't like it. In slow mode, send a message every one minute. Now seven seconds. It could be teardrop. Someone, I heard someone saying it was so long, but <laughs> he, she doesn't usually like, do that me. though. This is she teardrop and the rest of the mods don't usually do that by the like. Chantal would have to ask them to or something or they would suggest it and she'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think they would just do that. I've never really seen them do that on their own. But people were saying it was Salah, but right. We don't really know for sure. But I haven't listened to this yet. So maybe he says it's him or something. She said, babe, to the chat. I don't know. I don't know. Thanks. No name. I'm OK. I should just come back when the setup's better. Hmm. She should unmod him. He never should have been a mod. Right from the start, he was terrible. That's how the Holy Trinity left. You guys are only... <gasps> Duck Puppet, just say no to slow mode. Brooke, why'd the mod change the settings? It's not fast. Right. If the chat's not going fast, why would you need to put slow mode on? Hmm. Is my battery dead now? I'm stranded here. It turned on, she said, babe, and let out a big sigh. Yes. It's like right around here. God, what? Hi. Hi, everybody. I'm so mad about my tenders. Babe. We'll get the tenders. <laughs> it's scary out here right now, man. Like, you guys can't see me. This is BS. I should just come back when the setup's better. Hi, Meg. Stay in Canada. You guys are only... Is my battery dead now? I'm stranded here. Why'd the mod change the settings? Sorry, let me... <laughs> hmm. Desert Rose, have... thank you. Turn my car on? There we go. Why is my light... This light is burned out. Hi, Lolo. It's the only light that works in here. This is at 720. There's like three pixels. <laughs> it's like three pixels. It's so bad. Um, the Holy Trinity were actually moderators. Um, they were moderators. So she had a group. I mean, her chat used to be so, so different. Like two years ago or so, a year and a half ago, it was unbelievably different before Salah came. And as soon as he came into the chat for the first time, first time, she made him a mod and he just started like slashing the chat, just like blocking people left and right. And she unmodded, I think, one of the Holy Trinity and they got mad and they left and they never went back. But it was like, Oh, here we go. A trio of Beezers who were regulars and well-known and missed the most. And they were funny. Like, they would troll her, but, like, it was, like, clever trolling. It was, like, kind of funny. Like, yeah. Like, she would even laugh. 
but it was like kind of teasing her, but it wasn't like mean spirited. I mean, it was way more entertaining. These people are just like, uh, it's different now. It's a lot different. So I unwatted them when she moved to Kuwait. You remember how it was always memberships only chats? Yeah. Yep. She used to have it only on members only. No one that wasn't a member wasn't able to chat. They would have to send a super chat to be able to get th something through to her. And she would just delete it. Like someone would say something rude and she would just delete it. But you still get the money even if you delete it. And then the Trinity created a hater discord. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Her chat was much more fun in those days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was totally different. Totally different. Yep. Thanks for your two bucks. You're right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> And she thought she could block everybody and everyone would just come back. And then they I didn't. Everything. They didn't come back. Like right. mm. Ashley Lamborghini. Pixelated bees? Mm -hmm. Where's the... No! Very okay. pixelated. Yeah, you can't see the gravy being consumed. Cheers. With the Excellent two pixels. Coffee, isn't it? Flop era. No name, you gifted 10 members? Flop era was still around when she went to Kuwait, but this is the last thing I heard her say to Flop, and then he, or she, or she never came back. Everybody cooks fish here, Flop. It's Kuwait. It was so rude. She was so rude to Flop era, and Flop era didn't come back to the chat. That was the last thing she said to Flop era. Yeah, plain cheeseburger oh showed God, up. Oh, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that so much. Welcome to all the new members. Ready, set, beach. <laughs> Imagine if Kybella is thank in you, no this chat right now. <laughs> I can't find my fork. <sighs> Why are you guys watching me? I'm such a mess. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, no name. Desert Rose, I saw your super chat, right? Yeah. Hey, Angela. Happy late birthday. Thank you, guys. SCP. The box scratcher is gone. What is she eating now? What's that? Oh, my God. Thank you, Kybella. Exactly. What was... Oh, wow. The chewing. What was Flopera's comment that prompted Chantal's response? She was being very snotty to everybody at that time. I've, I'll find it. I remember. I remember the video. But I just thought that was so... Ugh, the way she said that, it was so nasty. And that was the last thing. Everybody cooks fish here, Flop. It's Kuwait. It's Kuwait. And she had just gotten there, too. It was bad. You, th you think No Name is Kybella raised day-to-day -day vlogs? You think so? Oh... She did say, she, yep, Danielle, she did say she would come back under a different name. She did. Okay, Waldo's World says, shh, 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 I'm ready for another arc, too. Yeah, and if it's a different name, that's fine. Your appetite tanked so much during Ramadan, Unhinged Lady, it's so gross watching her more than usual. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's annoying watching her. Oh my god. But no name also gives a lot. Okay, 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 okay. Anyways, guys. Hey, babes. Thank you, Kavella. Want to have a place? We can do what we want. But I miss you when you're gone. 
Ravy! You loser. Loser! G is L O S E R. Thanks, Lid. It does feel good to drive it. There's somebody. What if they catch me drinking gravy? That's embarrassing. <laughs> what if someone catches me drinking Must gravy? Be the season of the witch. Is it illegal? Might be. Madonna bees. Yeah, Jack in the Box. That's that's a very good point. Comments like that make me feel like she felt restrained in Kuwait when I get a place we can do what we want. Yes. Yep. That's right. The gravy police? Yeah. Imagine. How well does she vet her mods? Not well at all. That's right. As well as she vetted BBJ's adoptive family. Yes. You're right. You're right. Hmm. I don't think we need to wait for Kaivella to come back. I think there will be many more Kaivellas. <laughs> well, now that Salah is home alone legend, he's home alone legend right now, big time. Ugh. There's going to be Navy guys everywhere, everywhere covering the new sofa, too. Yeah. It's only illegal if you use a straw. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Gravy bees in. Gravy bees in. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> it's so gross. It, who says that? Who says that? I don't know why you guys thought I was like super miserable there. I wasn't super miserable. You, like, you are still. I can't explain it. You're just high on food. That's There's all. There's things I miss about both places, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, GC. Oh. I was like, I don't know. I, I can't explain it, you know. When's the eclipse? Okay. Good night, No Name. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the memberships and everything. I'm going to observe some things. I don't play Zelda. Uh -huh. I seem to bore. Navy guys and wise guys. Yeah, I mean, that's my fault, you know? But the summer there, I can't really do much. Yeah. It just feels weird to me. Like, for the past year and a half, mm -hmm. I was always sleeping. Like, I always had, like, I had my family there in, like, Kuwait and, like... Your family. You know. Your family. My routine, my spot on the bed where I always lay, like a seal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, imagine being broke, but you can afford the expensive trip to Canada. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is expensive. I didn't go out in the winter either, I know. Drive by the Villa Bees? Oh, everything just took a dip. A big dip in mood. That's like a I crash. I wish I didn't. Thank you. I, I love Pennington's here. <laughs> Every time I go to Kuwait, I miss Pennington. Just in Canada this summer months. And it's like, <clears throat> if I live in Kuwait, I'm without Sam. If I live in Canada, I'm without Julia. That's just weird. And I'm without Salah. But it's just weird for me. No, I'm, I'm supposed to stay in Canada. Yeah, mood crash. Food is everything. gone. Mm -hmm. I'm already very deep into this. <laughs> I miss my husband and my cat and my owie baby. Mm -hmm. I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. Sorry to have pets. I'm traveling out. You can do far better, hun. Just saying you deserve much more. Mm -hmm. We miss you more, baby. Please. Miss do you even have time to miss her? Yeah. Thanks, babe. Oh, God. Yeah, true, Joey. I try, you know. I don't know, Cynthia. Sitting it's in the be hard, yeah, pitch first, dark yeah. in an abandoned parking lot. <laughs> 
God. It's sad. It's, this is sad. I think I'm safe here. Not that I'm sad for her. I mean, the situation is just, like, pathetic. She's been back in Canada for a day. Why are people trying to, like, you know, dictate if I should be married or not? It's my life to live, you know? I miss my family um, in Kuwait. You don't have family in Kuwait. I miss the, my husband. Yeah, of Please. course. Please. Yeah. Sorry, guys. My life is so, like, back and forth. I know it's hard to follow, but, like... Anyway. It does cause conflict in my heart a lot. Mm -hmm. And now I'm depressed and I just want to sleep. Mm -hmm. Or go for a long drive. Depressed. And just think about stuff. Okay. Do you want to see your new place? You are eating yourself to death in Kuwait, says Grimace Jr. Did you hear my stomach? I gotta go get my missing tenders. I'm not going, I'm not Ugh. gonna go in there and be like, I'm missing my tenders. I don't even know if I have my receipt. Oh yeah, I do. Do they charge me for it? Let's <laughs> find out. <laughs> Prismo, oh what if someone sees me drinking gravy? Should be a sound bite. Maybe we will. That is pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. Now that Salat is there, she's sad and depressed. It's all a show. Very interesting, isn't it? Isn't it? She's happy, then crashes after eating. Patricia, yep. Yep. Does she not realize that thousands of people have seen her drinking gravy? That's a good point. What does she care about someone driving by in a parking lot? Thousands of people are watching her. That's right. That's right. I think really, I really think being away from him, she will allow the chat to influence her a lot more. I, yeah, I'm sure. Yep. I'm not completely familiar, but if all it would take is a sponsorship for Salah to get to Canada, then why wouldn't one of her family members sponsor him? It is more complicated than that, yeah. I I haven't really delved into the Canadian immigration and Canadian laws, like, really at all, because we do have Canadians, like, in the chat and around in the community in general. So they they know, you know, so they talk about that to some extent. But... Yeah. I got more into the Kuwait stuff because no one was really understanding it. So I'm like, oh, let me delve into that. But Canada, we have a lot of resources. But from what I understand, it's it's far more complicated, especially because Salah is a Syrian national and he's living in Kuwait. So I think the Syrian passport gives him an issue. So we need multiple Kybellas. I'm sure there are already. I'm sure there are. Internet people aren't real people. <laughs> yeah. I know it's not playing. I'm not going to say how they were. I'm not sure where I'm moving. Two Nashville fillets. And I can't go back there now because the box and everything. I'm finished eating. Oh. Everything fell on. Salah says Grimace eating herself in Kuwait. <laughs> eating herself he says because <laughs> that that grimace person said he that she was eating herself to death in kuwait you were eating yourself to death in kuwait and he was salaf responds grimace eating herself in kuwait what are you talking about it was literally one main meal and snacks she eat like any normal human eat salah come on like any normal human? I'm sorry. You don't get to 400 pounds because you like chicken. It, that's not a thing. It's not a thing. It, uh, come on. She eats like any normal human eats. <laughs> oh, she's not an animal, okay? <laughs> oh my god. What? Is he delusional too? On the ground. They didn't give it to me though. <laughs> Maybe they know this and I can go back. I don't think I'm going to go back. No. Salah's working overtime for his money. <laughs> she eats normally. One meal and snacks. That's it. <laughs> she is normal human. <laughs> I swear. Wallah. 
She's normal. Her one meal was enough to feed a family, says Grimace Jr. Yep. Yep. With backup sandwiches on top of that. It wasn't... I mean, maybe it was all eaten within one meal time. Li go for now. But it wasn't... The quantity of the food was not for one person. Um, Sala says, Lizzie, she don't even... She don't finish her meal even. Really? She's leaving food on her plate? Salah, we're not stupid. Maybe she is, but we're not. Come on. Come on. She don't finish her meal. Me? Depends on the meal, yeah. Depends, sure. Support her or don't, but she ain't doing anything wrong. Well, I mean, in essence, yeah, no, I'm not really hurting anyone. But, well, no, that's not true. Anyway. I support her getting he healthy and being happy. She clearly wasn't happy in Kuwait. Hey, Black's Chaos. Good luck. Have a good night. Oh, look at this. Thanks, Trixie. Maybe you still aren't as happy because you still can't be yourself. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Lizzie followed up with her one meal equals three. I mean, it's true. This isn't like one meal a day type of eating. I guess he bought into the delusion. I don't know. Yeah. Something. Thanks, Aisha. Oh, what do you, I don't know what, like, I, what do you mean be myself? Teardrop haters gonna hate. I don't know. I feel like I've just changed like too much. To Teardrop. Be, to try to be how I was. Oh, you're still you. Come on. Nothing's changed. Really. You just have more clothes on. What? what? Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me, Melly. I really don't. You need an evaluation. It's just hard getting used to not living with your husband every day. Like, as husband and wife. Like, being oh, apart. You've been there for you two know? days. Stop. Thanks, Sarah. He's entering the Delulu University slow and steady. Sean tells the professor. Delulu, you. I haven't been well in a long time. Oh and I've God. been just listening to negativity this way. I would rage is not healthy. I should negativity. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm just still recovering. From it's all the negativity. Uh, why, why do you have to be across the world? <laughs> what? Why do you and Julia and Howie hockey across the world? Because you went on Tinder International, dummy. Why don't you look for a man in your own town? No, I'm trying to be strong. <laughs> That's why. You don't just randomly meet people on another continent. <laughs> Pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> and I always get fogged. I always get fogged. <laughs> oh my god. I just don't feel the same. Yeah. Like I did before I moved. Well. It was something we different and weird. Yeah. You got reverse culture shock, huh? It was fate. Yeah. Exactly. You'd like to attend Delulu U? What would the mascot be? Oh, I think it's Harry. <laughs> you don't get to graduate in the Duluth. Okay, guys. You can enroll, but you never graduate. <laughs> you stay in forever. I'm so sure. You're so sure of what? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Back here. Oh, uh-huh. I am so sensible. I feel so sick. Like, I felt like, like, oh, when I went to the airport, like, the pain in my heart and, like, like, you need therapy. Goodbye, Julia. It's therapy. No, it's just hard, you know? Yeah. He shouldn't be in so, your chat. You should yeah, forget about him. I'm so, I wish I, I don't know, it's like, <laughs> that's what I mean, I feel torn. <laughs> You're not torn. This is an act. Stop oh. it. This is not what I expected to happen right now. Oh, well, 
Oh, just take care of your health care, babe, and be positive. We're all here for supporting you always, sweetheart. Ignore any negative. Be happy. Be happy. Don't worry, be happy, says El Sultan Salah. It's not just getting into me. It's like... <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I, just, I can't talk about it because I don't know how I feel. Yeah, it's weird. you need therapy. Anyway, I'll be okay. I'm just Figure out your like feelings. <sighs> Dispensary bees, queen. Okay. Oh, God. Get rid of negative people? Well, she'd have nobody. I can only watch the yeah. Canada arc, not here for anything no, else anymore. Gonna, yeah. Too depressing in Kuwait. Carolina, yeah, thank you. My family is in Kuwait. I don't know how to make people understand how I feel when I'm not even sure myself. You, know, you don't have like, to make us understand anything. You need a therapist. Oh. Yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 Calm down. Calm down. Yeah, but not from the... It's the... <laughs> it's not like that. It's just like... I don't know what it is. It's like, yeah. Like I said, I'm just torn. I can't explain it. I don't know what I feel. Thanks, Millie. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. I'm gonna go pick up my chicken tenders yeah, now. Sure, then I'll figure out how I feel. Anyways, guys. Anyways. I don't know what else to say. We're here for you, Chantal. Go get your chicken tenders. Thanks, Dear Trevor. Appreciate it. Thanks, Suzuki. Deck puppet. I want more pot pie. No, oh my god. More pot pie? Oh, am I going shopping? She's avoiding oh, her yeah. feelings with I food. I thing so I can model for you guys. Maybe tomorrow. Post meal yeah, calm down yeah, is yeah. tough. Wow. They forgot my nashies. That's total emotional eating. Post meal calm down. <laughs> yes, Desert Rose. See, Ad, this is not good. This is not good. This too shall pass. It may pass like a tomorrow. kidney stone, yeah. but it will pass? Right. Oh, boy. I should go get some sleep or go for a ride. Maybe. I, don't, I don't feel like sleepy. Anyone else like here and also sleep. say thank you, Kaibella? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at CB. You're not everyone's mother teardrop. Ooh, strife in the chat. Tina Bear, that's sweet of you to say. Dang. Offer. You want to play Scrabble and Monopoly? Hit the green <sighs> and go to bed. Yeah, Millie, you know. Just blast her favorite music out of your mind, yeah. Her eyes look watery. I mean, you can barely tell, but. Anyways, I'll see you guys later, okay? Wow. I'll We're depressed now. Again. This yeah. is full on depression now. What do you mean for tomorrow? Thanks, I gotta friggin' recover. Okay, okay, guys, I'm gonna go get my chicken sandwich. My chicken tenders. Thanks, guys. My family's in Kuwait. I don't know how to feel. I can't night, guys. tell Bye. you how I feel. Love you guys, thanks for listening to me. If I don't know how I feel. Okay, wow, good times. Oops! Oops! Wow. That was interesting, kinda, sorta. I guess. Wobbly chin. Uh oh. Woo. Woo. Ooh, ooh. Pitch dark eating alone. Yeah. Yep. Yep. She's hoping he responds to women so she has a good excuse to say bye bye. Yeah. I. I think it. I don't know. I, don't, I still think they paid her to go away. Like just leave. Just, she gets <laughs> cougar knife. It's true, right? I don't know if I should even read that, but it's true. It's that is what it's like, right? Everyone read Cougar Knife's um, message in the chat. I don't think I should read it during this time of this holy month. 
<laughs> but it's true. That's what it seems like, right? She finishes her meal and she kind of goes back to reality for a minute. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> she dresses more casual tomorrow and has some spiced bread pies. Oh, the Jamaican pies. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to go over that tomorrow. At least we have some content to react to. My God, there's only so many retro reacts you can do. I hope she really does have an evaluation on the 18th, Hippie Asta. Oh, we should put it on the calendar, actually. Because then we'll be looking for updates on the 18th or 19th. Yeah, I'm going to write that down. Thank you for taking note of that, that date. Because remember she said she was going to do weigh-ins like every Monday. And then it was like, oh, it's Monday. She only did it like twice. From today's stream, seems like she's staying. Yeah. It seems like she spent enough money that it's like, okay, I got to stay now. If only I were purse peanut right now. Yeah, well, you know, you could be. Mm -hmm. Would Chantal have to go back to Kuwait to get a divorce if she's married? Depends on what kind of marriage she has, Anna. Totally depends. Totally depends. I mean, if they just have a piece of paper with a certain type of marriage, they could just rip it up and be done. Hmm. Is she staying in her car? It seems it, doesn't it? It's, it was kind of like that last time she was in Canada, too. One meal a day and some snacks. She eats like normal human. She's a normal human, guys. She eats like normal human. <laughs> Celeste seems like he would have gotten the rip-up kind. Yes, I think so. I think so. She may not know if that's what it is, but yeah. Mm-hmm. If you guys weren't here at the very beginning of the stream, I want to show you a little video I made about the Church of Chantal. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Are you tired of pretending to be someone you're not? Do you prefer your religion cafeteria style? Yeah. Choose only what's appealing to you and leave the rest. The Church of Chantal. You make up the rules and decide each day whether or not you'd like to follow them. Do you want a spouse, but not the headache of a real commitment? The Church of Chantal allows a sacred form of marriage that cannot be proven to anyone, nor should you have to prove anything to the haters. If anyone judges you, call them Chantal-phobic and they'll back down. You can't join the Church of Chantal but you are always welcome to send a charitable donation. You can donate. It's not tax deductible, however. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The music is in the movie Tombstone. Oh, cool. I got it off of... Um... Uh, YouTube Creator Studio. <laughs> I mean, that is what it is. You know, she's making up all these rules for herself that don't exist. It's just not that flexible. We spent on meat patties. Yep. 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 You need to add that one she wore that looked like a nun. Oh, when didn't she look like a nun? Oh, thank you, Lalaboo. Thank you. PayPal the church. Yep. You didn't put up her cash app. That's right. Yeah, you can contact her if you want to make a donation. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> the owl is not pleased. Oh, the owl gives a ton of shade most of the time. That's true. Yep. Lots and lots of shade. You think she's staying with her mom or Aunt Phyllis, but they've told her not to go live at their house? Yeah, I, I would. Yeah, that sounds right. Yes, it does. We'll switch scenes here. If it's not tax deductible, I can't donate. Well, I don't think she has registered her Church of Chantal as a real religion in Canada. She should. 
She should. It is Ramadan after all. That's right. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. رمضان يا شهر الإحسان شهر الغفران رمضان 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 She doesn't pay taxes already. Why bother filing for a non-taxable status? Maybe she can get a tax break. Maybe. <laughs> The owl does not judge the nest. The owl judges what's on the screen. Yes. <laughs> you weren't prepared for that. Church of Chantal uses Gothic architecture. Where are the gargoyles? That's a... Yeah. yeah. AI wouldn't be able to handle that, I don't think. I'd have to add them in separately. It did a pretty good job of getting, like, what I wanted. You need the Holy Spirit Activate song, Francis? Do you want to end on Holy Spirit Activate? We can do that. Put a one in the chat if you want to end the stream on Holy Spirit Activate. Or if you want to end the... Sh or put a two in the chat if you want to end the screen on... on the, oh my god. End the screen. End the stream on uh, Church of Chantal again. One for Holy Spirit Activate. Two for Church of Chantal again. Okay. Holy Spirit, activate it will be. I'll upload um, Church of Chantal separately so you can watch that, like, you know, separate. It's so short. It's really short. Okay. Let's do it. Holy Spirit, activate. Everybody, I'll say um, good evening now since uh, the Holy Spirit will soon be activated. Okay. And... Thank you so much for joining me this evening. Thank you to the new members. Thank you for gifting members. And um, and thank you so much for the super chats and for the positive comments and support. It really means a lot. Thank you, everybody. Let's do it. What, you think we should chat till midnight dark is coming? Well, which time zone, though? That's the thing. And uh, I should be back on tomorrow so we can do that Jamaican patty um video and whatever she does tomorrow because she'll be she'll be putting out a ton of content now to make up for that week yeah love you guys love you marwa and a behepic owie 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 love everybody in the nest thank you for being here thanks for chilling and thanks for being you thanks we'll talk soon okay bye bye They say I ain't safe cause I cuss a little bit But you're the only judge that I need and that's it They always in my business cause they say I backslid They read the Holy Bible but they ain't applying it So Holy Spirit activate If you do it right now that would be great I ain't trying to smack this chick in the face Don't you see me down here trying to change my way So Holy Spirit You better do it Lord You better get them Lord <laughs> Before I get them Lord Hey Hey Better do it, Lord. You better get him, Lord. Before I get him, Lord. Hey. 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 They say I ain't safe because I cuss a little bit. But you're the only judge that I need and that's it. They always in my business cause they say I backslid. They read the Holy Bible but they ain't applying it. So Holy Spirit activate. If you do it right now, that would be great. I ain't trying to smack this chick in the face. Don't you see me down here trying to change my way. So Holy Spirit You better do it, Lord. You better get him, Lord. <laughs> Before I get him, Lord. Hey, better do it, Lord. You better get him, Lord. Before I get him, Lord. Hey. 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 They say I 
I ain't saying cause I cuss a little bit But you're the only judge that I need and that's it They always in my business cause they say I backslid They read the Holy Bible but they ain't applying it So Holy Spirit activate If you do it right now that would be great I ain't trying to smack this chick in the face Don't you see me down here trying to change my way So Holy Spirit activate. You better do it Lord Holy Spirit activate. You better get them Lord <laughs> Before I get them Lord Hey, hey, hey Hey, they say I ain't saved cause I cuss a little bit But you're the only judge that I need and that's it They always in my business cause they say I backslid They read the Holy Bible but they ain't applying it The Holy Spirit activate If you do it right now, that's good to you.